Hey everybody, how you doing? Hello, happy Saturday. Going live just a few minutes late. Went out for a little hike with my daughter. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Angel Insight. Come on in. Let's get comfortable. Let's hang out for a little bit together and talk about the energies that are coming in. There's a healing happening over these next two weeks. This is the uh, messages that are coming in from the magpie four different magpies. And, you know, uh, it's so awesome because of course, if you know anything about magpies, there is a lot of like folklore related to them. And one of the thing over and over and over that I saw is one magpie is sorrow, two is joy, three is a girl, and four is a boy. So like we had four magpies. We're talking about a healing for the divine masculine. We're talking about some really big energies, okay? So when I first got into this energy, when this, when this wisdom came in, what came in first was what the activation is all about. So there is really a huge healing that's happening we've got the solar we've got the solar eclipse coming okay so there's uh, and so many other cosmic events and so many other different components involved right but right away when i went into this particular um animal wisdom i knew immediately that the overall message was related to look at that 111 on the clock was related to renewal Okay, so there's this renewal. That's overall, we're renewing, but you know, there's a lot happening. So I hope that you resonate with some of the things that come through today. As always, let me know. Hey, what's up? I'm so happy you're here. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so when I got into these energies, I was getting colors. So I saw the colors of yellow, red, and orange, okay? And I felt like I was being pulled forward and back at the same time. So, you know, and then I felt a buzz. I re really started to feel kind of nervous, actually, around the edges. There was this anticipation. And then I had this feeling like ether, I'm using the word Ethervescent, kind of like bubbly, something bubbling up. Okay. Then I'm just kind of taking you through how this all came in. Then at the heart chakra, I could feel um, like a lump. In, you know how you feel like when you have a lump in your throat? That was kind of the feeling I had here, and it went across my body in both directions. I was getting the layers of the aura, actually, and I was also getting that we're creating a bunch of free space, okay? Um, when that when that came in, that we we're creating this free space, for some of you, tower moments, okay? And, um, you know, I had my first tower moment yesterday. Things out that you do, do not expect, okay? So many of you know my we own a food truck, and our food truck, our engine actually literally seized, like snuck it. Okay. And what was really interesting about that, okay, little pause on the message. What was really interesting about that though, is I already knew that we were going to find a way to make it better. Like I felt a lot of hope in the midst of something. I had tears. I mean, it's very traumatic for us, but there was something that just was like, we are not going down. And that's kind of like what's happening here. There's a battle cry. There's a gathering, um, a coming together, okay? And that's what I was feeling here, okay? Well, when all this happened, I also had, in my mind's eye, I had Monopoly parking space. That's where I was getting the free space, right? It was, it's like a free space. But also, depending on how you play, there could be some money in the middle. So we are talking about our abundance here, okay? So just so many renewals and so many aspects. Okay. Then uh, what happened is I was, there were, things were kind of jumping around. I was feeling the pineal gland, the throat, locked in on the third eye, the solar plexus. You guys, it was really going everywhere, okay? Then... Um, I started to feel like, um, my breathing was a little labored, like when you're in labor, 
Okay, so some of you are birthing uh, projects, structures, okay? And also, I had a bunch of nausea, okay? Um, I was feeling it everywhere, you guys, across my ribs. My heart started to get a little intense. I was actually feeling it also around my rib, like around my ribs in this intense heat. What's up, Deb? What's up, girl? Okay, and that's when I heard smooth operator smooth operator by Sade. coast to coast and even okay that's what came and i was like where is this going okay then a lot of different energies happen i had a lot of different sacred work i had a couple clients Things were just kind of like a lot of deep cleansings, okay? So from this first part where I went in, this overall renewal, we're getting um, some of you into third eye, the solar plexus, okay? And if you don't know what these are, don't worry, we'll explain. The root chakra and the throat chakra, okay? And this is what was so cool. Along with this, is this, um, I also had this, like, I really thought it was a different Oracle coming back again, because I had this, like, for your eyes only, 007. So it's like, we're going underneath, we're going into the secrets, okay, into the secrets, the secrets that have been held from you, the secrets that are for you, okay. So that's the overall um, what came through when I tapped into the animal wisdom. Okay. Now with that being said, a few days, even before that, I was getting what I thought was a different Oracle. I didn't even know they were connected, but I had these battle cries coming in, like literally battle cries. We're going to share them. Okay. So this is kind of like setting the whole space. The magpie has come forward for the next two weeks. We're going to activate your magpie in just a moment. And if you know anything about magpies, or maybe you don't, we're going to keep it simple. You can look it up if you want. I appreciate you coming in. Give me a like, you guys, when you come in. It really helps share this message, right, with everybody. And I'm so happy you guys are here. Um, so... The magpie is part of the crow family, the jay family. They're actually considered by many to be the most intelligent bird on planet Earth, okay? And one of them in tonight's oracle, I believe it's pile number three, is extremely vulnerable and very rare, okay? So we have many different energies popping up. But what is some of the things that are really kind of common with the magpie is, you know, the bag, magpie's got a bad, it's got a bad name, you know? Um, there are stories, there are literally people, not so much here in the States, but like in Europe. Anyone on Europe can let us know. Hey guys, let us know. Is it true? When you see a magpie, they like wave because if you see a magpie by itself is like a, an omen, okay, for a lot of people and not in a good way. So, you know, um, there's just... And, 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 and there's just all these folk tales and culture behind them, okay? So the magpie are here to kind of set it straight. We've been talking uh, that we've got a lot of different energies. The birds have been coming in together. The canary has been, you know, singing its tune. And what I love is that the magpies, they are mimickers. So if you've ever seen the Hunger Games, they mimic. They mimic sounds. So they're here to assist you to discover the secrets. That, you know, that certain energies that are at play that don't want you to know. Now, that doesn't, that's not a conspiracy. That's not a fear factor. Most of the time, it's energies within ourselves. Most of the time, it's just where we're at, okay? So you're about to go undercover and, and, and discover a little bit more about you, a little bit more about how your energy works, a little bit more about your mission for some of you, a little bit more about alchemy, a little bit more about meditation for some of you. Okay. So I'm super excited to get into this. Now, um, I really love how Oracle comes in so many different ways. And I have to tell you what's really unique about today's Oracle. We actually have 15 Oracle and 
seven of the oracle are for every single pile. So there is a huge message. Message. There is much magic at play. Much magic at play. And I'm getting even like, a, not a warning, but I'm getting like a, uh, uh, what does that mean? Because I think it's really important that, again, my angels and guides are, are, are encouraging me to go out of the way to let us know that magic is something we experience. Magic is the effect. It is not the catalyst. Okay. And this is kind of where some of the secrets are going to unwind. It doesn't mean that we don't have ceremony. It doesn't mean that we don't have things that we're led to, but you know, there's often times where energies have been misplaced, misused. Okay. So we just like to let you know you're in the right space. Okay. Here's the channeled message from the magpie. I think we're talking about it. Uh, we got a couple more things here and then we'll activate our magpie and we'll get into it. Okay. Channeled message to be scorned, scripted, or restricted is not the best to be evolved, resolute, committed, is always the result of a test. Oh my gosh, I have full goose bumps. No need to shudder or mutter. You have all you need. Real eyes, the good and the deed. Wow, I am just feeling it. I was telling you about the 15 Oracle and I was telling you about the renewal and overall, we have this, um, we're integrating a lot of different energies. We're integrating a lot. We're letting go. We're, we've are we got incoming, okay, incoming. Um, and, you know, it's all about being one with this. So these messages are coming in to support you here, to keep you from here and to go into here. Because sometimes when the battle cries come, we get a little, we get a little lost in here and we get a little nervous and stressed. Okay. Um, but everything has purpose. So I call them the magic seven. We're going to go ahead and start with those, but I want to let you know that in every single pile, we're going to unload the magic seven, which is in this order, mother earth, the divine, the crystals, your divine feminine. An activation is at hand. And then we have medicine and the ancestors. So this is going to be not necessarily long, but it is going to be filled with messages to speak to you, to be insightful. So make sure you pay attention to the things that come in for you as you listen. Okay, as always. All right, let's go. Let's activate the magpie. It's super easy. For those of you that are new here, um, I know that I am what's called a catalyst, okay, a spiritual catalyst. And so this is just an activation for each of us that we do every time the wisdom comes in and the magpie comes in to assist you, to be your ally. It is my purest intention, angels of the highest light, to activate the magpie for all who are here in this beautiful container for the highest good for each of them and for all of us on all timelines, dimensions, realities. And we thank you, the magpie. We thank you for coming in and assisting all of us. We really do. And so it is, so be it. Thank you to the angels for bringing this animal wisdom forward to us, our angels and guides, and even coming from the shadows. Okay. There's a lot of shadows and this is part of, a lot of things that you want to, that we're going to unravel together is, is, is that some of these shadow energies are coming up. And in a lot of ways, they're crying for you to release them. They want to be resurrected. They want to be released. They want to be alchemized. It's time. It's time. All right. So let's go ahead and get into pile number one. 1420 on the clock is where we start. Pile number one, you have chosen 
what has come through is known as the Eurasian magpie. But we're specifically locking into a specific European country, which is Scotland. Now, Scotland always kind of deals with the throat chakra and the well of dreams. Okay. And I love it because when, when we're talking about Scotland, what always comes through and what you can remember when we're talking about Scotland, okay, if that comes in for you, what, what's been attributed is they call their lakes locks. And in many ways, there are some energies that have been locked from us. Okay, so maybe this is the secret that you're meant to uncover. Now, channeled messages just for you guys. You guys, um, throat chakra, we're dealing with the throat chakra. Um, the number 777 came in a couple times for you. Big energies. Hello. Did you play the Powerball? Have you seen how big that puppy is? Just saying. Uh, we have a battle cry coming in for you, which is for spite or victory. I will explain that in just a moment. I heard mission possible. These particular magpies are, um, they, a lot of people think they're black and white, but they're actually an iridescent blue and green. Okay. So that kind of helps us lock in on what we're talking about. Um, and they actually work together very fiercely and a lot of, and, and this is for all magpies, they are monotonous. Okay. So there is this coming together. Okay. There's a coming together of these pairs. This happens in a lot of ways. For some of you, this is in your work. For some of you, this is romantic. For some of you, this is like a best friend. You know, this is somebody who's come back. For some of you, it's somebody new. Okay. So it's happening in a lot of different ways. There's lots of different stories here. But April is the nesting time. So there's this, there's this nesting. Okay. And this preparation. And that's because you're going through a transformation, okay? Now, this transformation has a lot, and I heard, and I heard, do you have a secret? Because if you do, if you're getting that there's a secret, I'm getting it's time to kind of keep it under wraps a little bit until you're prepared to share it, okay? So we've got the battle cry for spite or for glory. Excuse me, what is it? for spite or for victory coming in for you. And there's some more messages that want to be shared there, and then we'll actually get into it. Okay, so let's see. For spite or for victory. Okay, what does this mean? So this is actually, I love this because this all came in different times, and this is magical for me. So I, I, I know you probably don't see it as much as I do, but I love it. So back during like World War One, during the World War days, this is World War One, I, I believe. Um, Churchill, you know, who was um, over there in Europe, and over in Europe, they everybody would do this. It was the V formation for victory. Okay, and this was like a defiance. If you look this up, Churchill's V formation. Now he did not invent it. Okay, but what he did by using it is he created a battle cry. So what is a battle cry? Pile number one, a battle cry is something that happens or it is said that really gets a rally of energy together, okay? And so this really was a big thing. It was everywhere. Um, it was on planes. It was in form, it, on, um, you know, companies. Like, it was everywhere. And it was just a silent little protest against Hitler, okay? So for Spider for Glory, the act, um, this is what I wrote down. The act of committing all your efforts to stopping a particular rival this is what spite means. The act of committing all your efforts to stopping a particular rival from winning a competitive game or event once they realize that there's no way of winning themselves. Okay? Victory at all costs is what came up. Victory in spite of terror. Victory however long and how hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. This is what came up for you, okay? I love this because, again, wow, 777. Three times, triple confirmation these numbers are coming in. 
Pile number one, are you seeing them? Okay. So this was the battle cry of Great Britain in 1940. Okay. And, um, and this is actually the battle cry of Israel today, to be honest. Now, the V Army was also associated with the reason it became this was because of um, Morse code dot 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 bar is the number V. I had Beethoven's Fifth Symphony come up for you. OK, um, I know this is really interesting. So just hang out. We'll see how this all connects. Um, but uh, but I was hearing that you'll be victorious. Okay, that you will be victorious. There's something going on. You will be victorious. There's a victory ahead of you. It's about standing in solidarity, standing in resistance, not giving up in the face of what might seem impossible art, um, impossible art, <laughs> odds. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Okay, so I was really feeling so many things. Overall, we're talking about your throat chakra, but I was feeling your solar plexus, your heart, your higher heart. There's a lot involved here. You're going through a pretty big shift. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what are these big energies. This is what I'm getting with you, big energies, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look-see. We're starting with a lot of movement. Okay, hold on. I want to try it. I got a light here, so I want to make sure. Okay. There's a lot of movement here, and this is the, the odds. It's like you're not really aware what's around the corner, okay? Not really aware of what's around the corner. Keep your childhood wonder. Allow yourself to have fun and to play, and we are all being guided to root as much as possible, okay? Crystals are pretty big for you. So let's really pay attention to what comes up. You might want to consider gritting. This might be something new for you. You might want to check out my achievement folder, okay, which has a couple of the crystals if you want. There's so many different ways that crystals are coming in, but it is coming in for you. Look at that. You have a brand new beginning. You have a brand new beginning coming for you. So let's go ahead and see. One of the defining things that's coming in for you, now listen, I said Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. We've got music and harmony coming in here. I'm getting some of you are potentially working with Archangel Sandalphon, okay? Some of you are feeling a little ungrounded. The music comes in to guide you, okay? So that's number one. The divine wants to come in. I pre-shuffled, so first time we're seeing, look at that. This is for all of us, all piles. We're seeking a hidden treasure. That's that 007, that secret, okay? Accept what's going away. It's okay to let things go, okay? It's okay. And with all these energies, it can be a little confusing. And sometimes with all these energies, what you thought you released, you go deeper. It's like that onion, right? And you go to a deeper, la a deeper layer, and it can be confusing. Just keep reflecting on your truth. Be your most authentic person that you can be. No matter what's happening around you, you're being told the battle cry for spite or for glory is to know that the victory is at hand. And that just feels, I mean, I'm just going to say it feels so empowering. And we're collaborating with these energies, okay? The divine says, shine your light. There is much going on in the background that you're not aware of. There are energies that are, there's this fluidity. So that makes sense with that river. There's a lot of movement, okay? I know my lighting's not that great. I should have pulled the other light out. So I hope you can see everything. So music and being really fluid. Let's see what the crystals have to say because that was coming in for you. Look at that. Echoing that new beginning, right? Now, Aeolite pairs with lavender. So maybe you want to sleep. If you're having a hard time sleeping, pile number one, how about some lavender under your pillow? Okay. You can also, you know, um, there's teas. There's laundry detergent. Like, lavender is everywhere. Okay. No matter what's going on, stay at one 
this is your this is really an important number for you in that seven because your integrating energies be one with the integration allow your soul song to continue okay allow your soul song to continue look at all this music coming in music is really important to you it is a guide to you okay let me know if this is this is resonating there's this heart chakra okay the rakanda site this, there's an expansion happening. I am just not loving the light factor. We'll fix that for next time, you guys. Okay? How can we be at one with this structure that's coming in? That's what's that's what's moving in the background. Okay? You see all this movement? But it's like, how can we be fluid? Fluid. I've got, look at, I've got that AOIT, which kind of gives me like, that the opening of the floodgates feeling, recondite your heart. We're talking about your blood, your fluid. How can we not let our blood boil? Is what I just heard. So how can we really keep ourselves in check? And I hear that. <laughs> I totally hear that. Okay. On bottom we have the cross of cola pairs with parsley. Okay. And 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 and. What's really interesting about that is, in my experience, this is for those lions. Um, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of a connection right away as I'm speaking about this to pile number three. Okay, so if pile number three, you might want to pay attention to that because um, pile number three has kind of got this gladiator feel. It not kind of, it does. And so that lion might even be coming up more than you know. OK, so the crystals want to tell you to collaborate with them with sapphire. OK, now sapphire is only used in two areas. I, I work with sapphire myself. It pairs with eucalyptus. So look at we've got this eucalyptus. We've got this lavender. These very calming and soothing energies coming in to assist you. OK, lavender also works with your crown chakra and your um, and with your sacral chakra. So it's all about keeping things in check. OK, um, spirits really going out. This is kind of what the, the healing is for you. OK, that number nine is really coming in strongly to talk about because there's a healing at hand for you over the next two weeks. How can you keep that's what I'm feeling. It's like, how can you keep your, like a checkup from the neck up? How can you realize in a lot of ways what I'm feeling is some of these energies are coming up. They're bubbling up. But how can we not grab them and make them our reality? Okay, that's really what I'm getting here. So let's see what, let's see what your divine feminine has to say. Overall, we're hanging on for the ride. All piles, we're hanging on. OK, but specifically for you. Yeah, there's something to be uncovered. OK, there is something to be uncovered for you. There's a mask that wants to be removed. You're going deeper. You're going deeper. It's, it's OK. Yeah. You're going deep. Don't be afraid of what you see. Don't allow. I, I've, I've been feeling this with you. Don't allow this uh, for, ferociousness to really. Um, throw you off your game. Keep calm. Keep resilient. Keep yourself in check. Keep yourself in peace. Don't assume that something that makes you, that gets that blood boiling is necessarily things falling apart for you. Okay. Because, because I'm getting that that's been, that's been an issue for you. Okay. There's no magpie in here, but the magpie is part of the crow family. So really work with your magpie. Look up the magpie. What's resonating with you? What insights come for you? But I'll tell you what, the magpies are never working alone. They're always working together. So collaboration is really coming up for you. I'm just smiling because I told you overall, we're talking about renewal and nothing shows renewal more than what's inside this oyster. And that is a pearl. Pearls are literally the definition of renewal. It is all about an oyster getting an irritant. And this is what I'm feeling for you. 
something is irritating you, okay, in these next two weeks, how can we lacquer it? How can we renew it? How can we continue on our path and not let us set it, like not let us move off? I do feel that there are some, um, you know, sometimes the universe likes to test us, right? And I feel like there is a test coming up for you. And this test is all about your emotional mastery. So let the music guide you, okay? It's going to be very synchronistic. I want you to share it with me because music is very synchronistic with me as well, okay? It might even start with that smooth operator, smooth operator, okay? It might even start with that. Maybe there's something in there. Now, that song does talk about kind of like a crime boss and kind of how he uses people. So maybe this is what we're... If that resonates, maybe that's the irritant. How can you go beyond and expand and not allow that to change who you are? That's the big message here. Okay? That's the big message here. How can you continue to your Shambhala, to the things that are all divine for you? Right? Okay? Look at this. The divine matrix. This is all about... This is actually the, um, the flower of life that you're seeing here. So what does this refer to? Okay. I put education on here because we're always learning. And flower, the power of life, flower medicine, plant medicine, that's the energy that leaves us. So when I was mentioning lavender, eucalyptus, which by the way, eucalyptus, and I feel this is actually really important for you. Eucal, especially if you're if you are aware that you're an ancestral healer, because eucalyptus spiders don't like eucalyptus at all. And with for me, the spider comes in. Oh gosh, I just had like this opening in my left ear. Interesting. So spiders represent the ancestral wounding. Okay, so it's just like how can we not allow the ancestral wounding, which is coming up to be released, how can we not allow ourselves, affect ourselves to pay that wound forward? Because that's how a lot of these wounding energies work, don't they, guys? You know, and we beat ourselves up about it all the time. First, our activation. I feel this Earth Star activation has a lot to do with crystals, okay? I'm thinking about what came already in your message. But your specific activation at this time, dun dun dun, dun look at that. So we just talked about an Earth Star activation, just saw that. But this is all about a Soul Star activation, okay? We've got, the like, the energy of Toth here, the Egyptian timeline here. But also, this is a really what you're rooting in. So those of you here in pile number one, my daughter just came home. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Um, in pile number one, what we're talking about is the, an evolution. We're talking about an evolution. Most likely, there was something that was really challenging for your ancestors, potentially on this Egyptian timeline. <laughs> Not a surprise, to be honest. And this is what you don't realize. This is undoing in the background. You know, this is allowing you to hear the battle cry, the V formation, to know that you're not alone. Okay? So what's the medicine here? Let's look at the medicine. Keep your perspective. That's where we started with you. Keep your perspective. Fertility is at hand. Balance is at hand for you. Now, the bunny is really important because we've been learning, you know, the bunny hides. The bunny hides because it, it is very um, hunted, okay? But many of you have transitioned into the hair. That was the energies of, of last year, okay? That's why you stepped in. You're owning your big energy or you're learning about who you are, okay? And so... 
I was just talking about this today. <laughs> You're aligning to the moose, okay? And the moose has this bellow, this voice, and it carries. Wow, listen to that. We're talking about the throat chakra. We're talking about big energy. We're talking about the bellow. So I think maybe we need to realize, pile number one, that you too, I shared that I was, uh, that, that I'm aware that I'm a spiritual catalyst with my voice. And I kind of have a stinking feeling that many of you are as well, okay? And maybe you don't realize that. How can we stay in balance? How can we stay above the emotions? This is really coming in. There's that river. There's a ton of movement. But you have everything you need to stay above the emotions. The universe is going around to test you. How can you stay in grace? How can you stay in gratitude? How can you not allow that irritant to define who you are? How can you renew? How can you use crystals? How can you use lavender eucalyptus? How can you engage your senses? How can you slow down and tap into the music? How can you be fluid? Okay? The medicine for you those of you that know, know that this is the animal wisdom. The magpie is coming in double confirmation for you. We saw it with the crow, with your divine feminine. We're getting it here. There's only one in this deck, and it is the animal wisdom. So this is what's guiding you. This is the medicine for you to really pay attention to the Eurasian magpie. Now, there's lots of different magpies, but maybe you want to look into some of that folklore. Maybe you have roots to uh, Europe, and Eurasian also is in the Atlas Mountains and the and, and Egyptian. Okay, so there is a connection if you're feeling that Egyptian to another pile. All right, the ancestors want to get in here. Okay, they want to get in here, and they want to tell you something. Opa, look at that. It's like flew across. Okay. I actually forget the name of this rune. You can grab it right here. It's very positive. What are you getting when you see this? Because what I'm seeing, I am embracing my big energy. I am at peace. I am using my throat chakra and my voice for the highest good for myself and those around me. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm feeling. But let's go ahead and look. The exact name is the Elges, which is the elk. Look at this. The elk, the reed, and the crow. Triple confirmation. Triple confirmation, 777. Triple confirmation, magpie wisdom. Come on. It keeps coming and coming for you. So let's see if there's a couple other things that we can give you here. Just a moment as we get for, uh, familiar. 143. We're going to give a couple words that can create an insight for you. Because there's so many energies at hand. Spirit is really going out of the way. The magic seven here going out of the way. Oh, elk sledge. Elk sedge. Okay. So imagine an elk bending to take a drink in a pond flecked with green sedge. So how does that fit in with everything we talked about? Could that green sedge be that irritant that gets in? Could there be something in your ancestry, potentially, my friends, that has gotten in to your cells, okay, to, to you know, this is how it all works when we're undoing these ancestral um, relationships. This is what everything comes together. Okay, now, just specifically for you, we've got the archangel animals coming in, so we want to talk here about... The magic. So the archangels are coming in to teach you something. Right on bottom, pre-shuffled. Be independent but work together. Collaboration is really huge here. 
okay? And that's because in a lot of ways, you're going to learn about your how this voice is working for you. So in some ways, many of you are going to be collaborating with your angels, with others, to learn more about what you, about this gifting here. You have something very special here. You'll have to let me know, pal number one. What's going on? Are you a singer? Do you, um, are you an oracle? Do you, um, do you do meditations? What, how do you use your voice? Are you a speaker? Do you have, envision yourself in, on a stage? Okay. Is there something involved here? And not only many, some of you are on either spectrum. Some of you are learning, but some of you are the teacher. And isn't this how it always goes? Even if you're the student right now, you're bound to come into this teaching position very soon, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the archangels want to teach you about. Yeah, there's that bat, okay? It's just this energy is coming in. It's like you're just aware. It's, it's literally like the bat. It's a sonar. It's a frequency, and it awakens this energy within you. And there's the rabbit again, letting you know that this is for you. This is helping you develop your uniqueness. This is all about you and your and, and, and your fertility, okay? And about what you're meant to do. Recognize your own significance. Don't allow yourself to be to be ruled. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Ruled. By, uh, by by other energies or by others, okay? There's that soul song again. This is the timing. And a lot of times, my friends, when you awaken, the whale energy, when you awaken, it's like most of the time you have no idea what's happening, okay? So this is why your angels and guides led you here so that you could be a little more prepared Oh boy, my tummy is just really feeling nervous all of a sudden. It's okay. And what it is, is like a butterfly in the tummy. That's a great thing. And in fact, I feel that's coming in for you in a very strong way. Okay. When you feel the butterflies in the tummy, that's when you know you're on to something. Okay. Don't ignore that. The archangels want to teach you a little bit more. The rat is here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay. The magpie and the rat working together. Look at the North Star there. Okay. We were talking about the layers of the aura, and I feel like that is so relevant in your particular reading. Okay. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I was still doing the two in one. We're going to go ahead and take that rat. Okay. Because there's no such thing as a mistake, but we're going to keep shuffling. Okay. Sorry. Um, wow. It's you, you and you prize pig working with that spider, working with that ancestral Charlotte's web, working with that ancestral energy. Look at that. That childhood wonder came in. Let the story guide you. Okay. Um, there is a huge healing here for you. It's a matter of capturing it. You're, it's going to be shown to you just like that fish. Okay. A bunch of fertility. It's all about how you decide the perspective. And that's what spirit is guiding you to this perspective. How can you be true to yourself? Did you see that the rat? How can you be true to yourself and the universe? I'm sorry, it's hard to read backwards. How can you be true to yourself? The universe wants to reward you for being true to who you are. So beautiful. It's all about being in the current. That's what that's what the angels are uh, the archangels are coming for. They want to teach you stay in the flow. Okay, and sometimes the waters, sometimes when you're in your flow, like have you been on a roller coaster recently? Like sometimes the current can really drag you. Okay, um, but it's not, as I say that, however, it's not dragging you, it's pulling you. Remember in the channel, if you, if you didn't look at the um, overall message for the collective, we're being pulled in different directions. 
So you're being pulled, but you're being pulled, you know, with purpose, pulled with purpose. So allow yourself to be guided because there's this resistance. That's where that butterflies was coming up. Like when I felt those butterflies, because they've passed, don't resist the current. Don't resist what's pulling at you. That's actually what's trying to grab your attention and teach you. This is the magic, okay? Because there's a shift going on for you. And the archangels are saying, we want you to collaborate with these energies, okay? So how we're going to collaborate, number one, on bottom, is just really love ourselves. Okay, and look at this. We've got these mama babies. How can we be in collaboration? These are those energies we're picking up on the blues. Remember, we we're talking about this. We we're talking about at the very begin beginning that you don't have black feathers. Okay, it's iridescent blue and green. The throat chakra and the well of dreams. How can we stand in our voice, our authentic voice? How can we use our imagination? How can we have the childlike wonder? Okay, this is what the angels are saying. How can we really, um, and, and look at this collaboration with this masculine, really remembering the message from the divine to shine our light, to allow ourselves to be fluid, which means flexible, okay? Fluid and flexible. So the archangels want to say, there's that rabbit. We're going to have to read it, you guys. Let's grab it. It's been a while since we've used this. Such a beautiful card. Look at this card. So much going on here. Now we're talking about your throat chakra and look at right there. See that? And that's what I was feeling with you. The layers of the aura. So you've got all these different energies, pathways, communication going on. And look at that unicorn. Uh, it's just like, oh my gosh, there's so much happening here. You're so connected, my friends. And look at the grid lighting up around you. Recognize your significance. It matters. Your emotional mastery matters. It really does to those around you, to the, to the earth as a whole, to the earth as a whole. Okay, you are, I, 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 you have to be a grid worker. You just have to be. I feel it so strongly. Um, every time you walk, you're clearing. That's why I was getting the rat, the magpies. Okay, um, it's just like, you know, the magpies, they have all this energy. Like um, in Europe, they, they think they're part of like the devil. Okay, and that's because of this old wives tale that, the magpie was the only bird that didn't make a sound when Jesus died. Interesting. But maybe it's because that they really respected the sacrifice. And I feel that this is a very deep message for a couple of you, because I feel that many of you have made very deep sacrifices. Okay? And I say thank you. I say thank you. Because sometimes these rats, these rabbits, these magpies, they seem so insignificant. And I'm here to tell you everything, ev all has purpose, including you. Recognize your, signific your significance, says Archangel Gabriel. Okay, pure, warm-hearted rabbits originate from Orion. They heal hearts with wisdom as well as love. Now, immediately with that Orion, I'm again, if you're feeling it too, I'm getting a connection to pile number three, okay? And, the, and Orion, it was a hunter, the hunter of the rabbits, the hunter of the animals. Maybe in some ways you feel hunted. Every sentient being emits a sound that together creates the song of the earth. Mother Earth told you music. Music is important. I'm sorry. I'm like having a hard time with this light. Okay. How can we be in harmony with the sound that we're putting out and with the sound that's coming in? Currently, earth is discordant. However, 
Lady Gaia sings her true tune, and the rabbits hear this part. The rabbit's soul mission is to relay the notes through the energy fields in order to bring everything into harmonious alignment. Their aim is to enable us to ascend graciously. Rabbits have a huge and important soul mission. They spread purity, clarity, and joy wherever they go around. And immediately I heard, remember, magpies, when you see two for joy. So collaboration is very, very important to what you do. It, you're not meant to do it alone, my friends. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm losing my place here. Okay. Wherever they go and they become... Because they carry sacred geome geometric wisdom in their auras. I love this because I was really feeling your aura, your big energies. So if that makes so much sense to me. The angels sing harmonies over them. As a result, these furry little creatures, angel sonics spread over the land where they live. And see, that's what I was feeling. You're a grid worker. As you walk the earth, you literally create sound. Wow. Okay. This is due to what? Emotional mastery. So when you are like red, red eyed and losing it, you're creating that, that same sound. Okay. So spirit is letting you know that what, how you react affects more than you may potentially know. All right. Archangel Sandalphon, okay, the music of the spheres understands the music of the spheres, which is the harmonics of creation. Through the rabbits, he and Archangel Gabriel attuned the song of the earth with the music of the spheres to hold the place in a seventh dimensional blueprint for the earth. Are you hearing this beautiful magic unfold for you, pile number one? Like for real? We have mentioned all of these ingredients. I hope that you're taking some notes for yourself or that these are coming in as confirmation pile number one because they have been coming in repeatedly in this reading. It's being reinforced. Here's your guidance. When you bring yourself, when you bring yourself into alignment, you emit a melodious tune. You are a tuner, my friends. The wisdom of the rabbit suggests that you watch your thoughts, watch your actions, make sure they are pure, make sure that you are shining your light, and make sure that they speak your truth. Speak, hum, or sing with intention of being in harmony with the song of the earth. Know your contribution is helping the entire universe to align to the divine right order. Unicorns. Okay, 12th dimension. Love pure, innocent beings. And if you hold or think about a rabbit, a glorious unicorn will sh shower light and blessings over you. You may feel that your efforts are insignificant in the vastness of the universe, but they are so appreciated and so noted by all who are, illumin all who are illuminated. Wow, we can, mic drop, we can stop here. Hey, Shay, what's up? We're kind of getting to the end of pile number one. What a beautiful reading this is. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is your second card, my friends. You have been going through so much. Look at your journey. Look at your journey. This is so beautiful. There is so much luck around you. you. Make sure you're throwing your wishes out to the universe. The universe wants to pay you back for everything you've been doing. Wow. You have been going through many changes. Shift after shift. So gorgeous. And I just can't even. Look at these pearls. Look at my friends. 
a string of pearls, the queen's jewelry. Wow. Accept happiness and good fortune. The universe has your back, pile number one. Don't doubt yourself. Your medicine is so significant. It is making changes like no tomorrow. So it's really important to keep yourself in a good space, okay? So we've given you a couple things. The crystals want to come forward, okay? The, we've talked about a couple herbs, the plant medicine, the music, right? Now we have the ancestors. And once again, oh my gosh, pre-shuffle, another nine for you. Big healing. Follow your voice. Follow the sonar. Follow the frequency. This is all about trusting your instincts, okay? Because you, you emit a frequency to the earth, but the earth also emits a frequency back to you. So this is a collaboration, okay? And, and somehow music is involved in that collaboration, okay? This is your sweet spot. Shay says, such a beautiful reading. Oh, I am so happy you loving this. Yes. How does music work for you, Shay? Can you let us know? It works with us in so many different ways. And some of you don't know, but I know because I work with um, crystals and plants. So for me, I'm aware that I'm a grid worker. So this is, uh, welcome to the fam. We need all the help we can get, yo. Okay. Um, but I know for me, that the, the sound has happened with the attunements. It's, it's actually created a sound and a buzz in my energetic field that I carry in my energetic field. So that's one way. Of course, there are multifacets, okay? So the ancestors are saying, you're feeling a bit hung. You're feeling a little bit in a twist. This healing is coming so that you can understand your significance, okay? There's more magic at hand here. The ancestors really want you to, we're going to build on this. They really want you to be open. They really want you to show this big energy. Shay says, yes, I was. Act, I actually love singing and music. Sorry, old lady glasses. And music in general lifts me up so high like nothing else in the world. Oh, my gosh. I am so happy to hear this. Okay. So, Look at this. We started with the ancestors with the runes. Just look at this energy. Do you, I mean, I can feel this energy jumping off this rune. How can we embrace? So the ancestors are letting you know, yeah, they're confirming you're in a twist. You're, you're just being guided. It's like you kind of, for some of you, you don't even really understand. That's why it feels so insignificant. But it's like you just take action. Sometimes you're not even understanding. And I want to do this because for me, this is what's coming in a lot. Is like I don't understand sometimes either, but I feel held as I do at this moment to provide a little healing and extra for you. Okay? So that's what it's all about. It came with purpose. Allow yourself to be guided. Okay? Okay? And my guides are saying, Smooth operator, smooth operator. Because when I'm doing my healings, and now this is new for me, this comes in with music and it actually helps um, reformat, right? Reformat. Okay. I miss you and your energy. Oh, my gosh. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Okay. So there's this structure. There's this magic coming in. There's this structure coming in. The ancestors are telling you there's a structure coming in here. There's some, there's some you know, a clearing. Okay. I'm getting a clearing with the webs. There's some web clearing going on. Okay, that's making that space. Okay, this is the healing. They want to talk about it. So let's talk about this structure. It's going to bring you into balance. And this is more magic. 
So much magic coming up for you. There's that number four. How can we really, like, look at, feel the energy of this card, my friends, okay? It's like you can feel the wind. You can feel so much is about to happen. But it's like, nope, don't jump into action. And this is particularly the barn owl, and the barn owl always works in pairs. So do you have a network of friends? If not, they're coming in. Okay, for some of you, this is the shift. A network of friends that you can talk to, that you that that you can soundboard off. Ooh, look at that, that you can soundboard off, okay? Um, so that you can see things from another perspective. Because sometimes when we're, and that is such a beautiful way to root, okay, to keep yourself grounded, is to get into conversation with other like-minded people um, <laughs> that can definitely make you feel um, and really unlock you, create activations, okay? So it's all about kind of like collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. There's a structure coming in. And, and it's like, here we have the word deception, but how can we not deceive ourselves? That's what I'm feeling here. How can we really fall into love? Like, look at, we're wearing like literally a heart face. So how can we only see with the eyes of our heart? Don't let the mind decide. It's okay. It's okay to be like, son of it, you know? But how can we go, how can we take a moment to sit in the energies before we decide. You see what I'm trying to say? Before we decide. Okay, so that's number one. Oh, man. Grace, you guys, you are getting repeat messages one after the other. Yeah, you can hear the Jordan. Sorry. Look at all the noise that's being made for you. when you have a family and you go live. Sure. Okay. Sleep over. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So we had this one come up before. My my other daughter, speaking of music, she's probably got her, her music on and she didn't hear me. Okay. So black swan. It's like I am feeling this because double confirmation. We already had the swan come up for you coming up again and that's because grace the word grace has come in three times right now how can you remember the melody okay listen to this it's like when you're playing a piano and it's out of tune it's like yeah that's mildly frustrating but what we do is we just tune it up we have grace we focus on the solution this is actually a lot of what's coming in right now Spirit is really going out of their way. Look at there, another whale. You have a secret. And it's like as long as you can ride that mastery, right? Uh oh. Chase says hi, Toby. He's like, what? <laughs> so cute. Okay. Yeah, you've got this, and it's like there's this killer instinct in there. And I want to remind you of this like spy energy. You're going underneath to uncover. This feels really juicy. I'm feeling the heat a little bit. This is not necessarily going to be very easy for you, pile number one, but that's why we're really going out of our way to remind you to stay in grace, to stay, to, to release that killer instinct, okay, is really what it's all about. And using, and I keep getting again, I'm going to say it again because the crystals, they just keep coming up. For spite or for victory, what tools do you have in your toolbox to keep you in that balance? Okay. Because there is a cleansing right here. Okay. You're about to jump forward. This is a huge healing for you. Literally, 
collaborate with the healing. See with the eyes of the ancestors. A lot of what you're experiencing is not even yours, okay? And that's why the ancestors have come forward for you. Because remember what they have gone through. Remember, like, okay, we're talking about Europe. We're talking about the World War one World War II. Like, try to put yourself in that perspective. When Hitler, my father-in-law, lived in Greece, and he literally had to fight with dogs to eat. And and you know what? The um, the the part I forget what they're called, but the Nazis they used to take bets on if the dogs would win or if the kids. He was seven years old. Try to remember the things that our ancestors have been through, my friends. We are healing these. We carry these in, in us. And for all of us to ascend, to create the music, we have to get everything in tune. And that's what you do in your own unique way. Okay? So beautiful. All right, so... What the ancestors, they want to teach you how to get things in balance. Shay says, this is helping me so much because I've been thinking about how I have more grace and think about what I'm feeling before I'm reacting. Yeah, it's so, it's it's life changing, my friend. And that's what I was sharing in the collective message at the beginning is my food truck had a big mishap yesterday. Like it's pretty devastating and I am so proud of how we are being so intentional about it. Like my husband and both of us, I mean, it's, of course, we had a little pity party. But what was amazing is the pity party only lasted about an hour. I mean, it's a bad thing that's happened, okay? Um, but for some reason, we're just like, ain't nothing going to take us down, you know? Um, let's just go ahead and like quadruple quadruple say can you dial into your ancestry because you have something beautiful this is a new beginning for you you have a secret to uncover okay and your ancestors want to lead you to that oh my gosh i really feel that new beginning i really feeling that lavender as well Keeping yourself in, in a calm, serene environment is really coming in. Maybe like some candles, some diffusing, some oils could be really helpful. Watch for the messages to come in with that relaxation. Lots of messages were coming in. And this is, I'm, I'm being guided to put these underneath. This is coming underneath the, the um, ladybug for luck. So you're aligning to this luck, okay? Watch for the messages to come in to guide you, especially from Archangel Sandalphon. If you haven't worked with him before, check in and see if he's a new guide for you because you have a new beginning, and that means you probably have some new guides, okay? There's an opportunity in front of you, okay? And in order to get to that opportunity, we have to let something die. Do you see that symbol in the corner? We have to get to the bare bone. We have to kind of be willing to journey in. We have to be willing to let go. We're talking about your structure here, okay? There's a shift going on. You're shifting from the right to the left. Trust your instincts. Your ancestors are guiding you, and that's really what you're not seeing, but they're guiding you because they appreciate the work that you're doing on their behalf. And so they're coming in with these messages on the other side, actually. Some of you literally are stepping into mediumship, I'm hearing. Yes, honey, it's okay. What's the matter? He's waiting for my daughter to come back. Okay. This has been such a beautiful, me a beautiful reading. I am using my pendulum today. Um, Archangel Samuel, to work for the light. Archangel Samuel is helping me out today. Have we covered everything in this reading for pile number one? We have. It really has been such a beautiful reading. 
Um, an overall message that's coming with in with you is collaboration. I do want to let you know before I get to the next pile. I put in the in the box below in the description box all the things related to we are um, the pillars of the new earth immersion is happening in just a few weeks. Talk about coming together of new friends. Talk about life changing experience. Um, you can still get a seat. We would love to have you join us. If you're ready to jump into that, of course, go within because, you know, I just want to remind you that the magpies, they always work together and this is really coming up so strongly. So there's details about that. If you have any questions, let me know. Yes, it's going to be amazing, Shay. I love it. Keep us posted. Okay. Always love feedback. We're going to go ahead and get ready to get into pile number. Let me clear this, you guys. We're going to go ahead and get ready to go into pile number two here in just a moment. So if we have anybody here that's new, please let us know you're here. We want to hear from you. We want to know what's going on in your world. This is a beautiful community. And, you know, many of us are going through a lot of confusion. So, because, you know, so many different energies. I know. She'll be back in just a moment. All right. Pile number two. Let's get into your messages. Pile number two. Ah, you are the Australian. The Australian from down under Magpie. Now, you are in a class all of your own. Okay, uh, we are talking about the solar plexus here. Very territorial, are you? Kind of interesting. We've got a couple numbers for you, pile number. Oh, I forgot to timestamp. Let me write that down. Uh, just give me an idea. Okay. So some numbers that came in for you are 444. I heard observe. I was getting meditation for you. We also had Danny Zuko come forward, which I thought was amazing. And the T-Birds, okay? So there seems to be a lot going on with four, okay? Toby, leave it, please. Sorry, I can hear my guy in the background. Um, so the battle cry that came in for you was let freedom ring. Okay, let freedom ring. Now, a battle cry, pile number two, if you're not familiar, I'm just, for those who are not watching live, please go back to that 11144. And I am telling you, make sure you go back to the collective message, to the activation and the collective message, because there's some beautiful tidbits in there for all of us. Wow, I love that synchronicity with the fours. Okay, so fours are like in your world. All right. Now, let freedom ring is was actually um, a battle cry that was uh, published. It is a song, and it was published in 1862 by George Frederick. Okay, root, believe it or not. Okay. Now, what's really, I wrote here, what's really funny is I had a vision of my daughter. Yeah, I had a vision of my daughter's tattoo, which is a cactus. And then I heard the song, I've been in the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. I am definitely feeling root workers here. Let's put this in collaboration with the Australian down under the solar plexus. We have the colors red and yellow coming together root workers, some of you mystics, okay? Some of you are stepping into mysticism or you are a mystic already, um, okay? And let's see, feel like it's been, oh, I actually, I wrote down, I feel like you've been on a quest for a couple years, okay? So let me know if that resonates. Now, some of you are on the other spectrum. If you're like, no, I haven't been on a quest, maybe you can expect a quest, and be patient because sometimes when you're taking on a quest to uncover, remember we have this 007 energy coming in for us collectively. Um, how can you to discover something that's hidden? Okay. So, so really allow yourself to be guided. Okay. Some people thought that this song, Let, Let Freedom Ring, should have been the national anthem. 
it was used for the basis of Opius 55, okay, which is a famous, famous um, symphony, okay, and it was dedicated to the person that wrote this song. So what I'm trying to say here is I'm getting this pay it forward. I'm feeling like for a lot of you, 444, right time, right place, right? So it's like you're stepping into your power, your imagination. You're stepping into that evolutionary pathway that you desired before you even incarnated. Okay, this is really magical, my friends. I'm feeling a pay it forward, okay? You've been learning. You've been on this quest. You've been learning a lot about how, you know, you manifest, about how you step into that power. You see that combination of power and root chakra is a lot like Harry Potter energy, Gryffindor, okay? You just have this mysticism about you, okay? I can feel it. It feels so good, actually. Um, let's see. This particular song really cheered up the troops during the American Civil War, okay? Especially with the Union soldiers of the North. All right. It was also used as an anti-slavery campaign, okay? So, what does all this mean? It means that you, a, a lot of you as root, as root chakra workers, which I attribute to the Egyptian timeline. Okay. This is how it speaks on my channel is the Egyptian timeline. Now I want you to think of like literally the store of Pharaoh and how the pyramids were built. So many people left in slavery. I'm getting many of you have, there are many of you that chose pile number two that have lived in slavery for so long in different aspects, okay? And in our common slavery, a lot of people are a slave to the phone, are a slave to the work. I mean, think of all the things that we're slave to, but we don't have that freedom. But it's all about letting freedom ring for you, okay? So really keeping that battle cry right here at your heart. Let's go ahead and get into it. Pile number two. Let's go ahead and see what the earth, Mother Earth wants to say to you. How can you be in the ebb and the flow? Okay. This feels really important, especially for, okay, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps when I was about to say, especially those of you that resonate with the whole slave mentality, because that means that there, I'm feeling that there are many of you that are giving more than you're receiving. Okay, are giving more than you're receiving. It's really important to ground. Mother Earth is telling you, especially root workers, you need to plug in. And literally going out in the forest is so, it, there really is literally a thing called forest breathing, where you go out and then all the trees and all the vegetation literally allows you to be rooted. Okay, so rooted workers, how can you not, how can you manifest or not manifest if you're up in the clouds? You've got to be rooted. You've got to be firm on the ground. Okay, this is a really big message coming in for you. All right. Um, it also means a lot of you are trailblazing. You're bringing something new in. Okay, I really feel that so strongly. Yeah, look at this. There are a lot of blessings coming your way. Oh, I feel the goosebumps. I immediately am drawn, and I've never seen, but immediately drawn. Even when things are upside down, you see the love. You see the love. This is how you know you're grounded, okay? And so Mother Earth says, <laughs> you've been in the desert on a house with no name. Oh my God, you've been on this vision quest. We're literally talking about the desert, literally, okay? So this is so amazing. Um, so this is just confirmation. Now the divine wants to come in. How can, the divine wants to collaborate with you. How can you, re, how can you reflect your truth, okay? Now, right away, some of you in pile number one chose pile number two. <laughs> right away, I can feel that. 
And so if that's true, we're really, 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 really emphasizing to be one with collaboration and to get into that balance, okay? Really, really emphasizing. Make sure you ask with sincerity. Make sure that you don't allow the patterns, the subconscious scripts, the things that steal. Look at, look at that, okay? The thieves, okay? The thieves, the things that steal our joy, especially because of this, um, because of this, I, mean, I really am feeling that slavery, okay? I really am. It's been reinforced, and so it's developed into this, like, I'm not good enough. Um, you know, um, I'm not worthy. How come nothing seems to come together? Many of you may even find that things are falling apart. That's where this desert comes in. It's like, man, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like thirsty. I need the water. But it's like everything happens for purpose. Sometimes we have to unravel so that we can bring in what is meant for us. Okay. Um, look what's right here on bottom. Live your soul, not a role. Let go of that slavery. Okay. If, if that's, if, if that's resonating for you and if for some reason it, it feels like it, it does. Okay. So we're getting into that more. That might just be some energies. The biggest way that we separate ourselves from others, okay, based on subconscious scripts, can you guys see what the guy wants, is when we create a hierarchy. The moment that we create a hierarchy, my friends, we automatically create separation, okay? Um, and I'm not going to get into that. I heard something in the background, and I'm not going to bring it up because it's like I don't want it to get lost. And at the same point in time, Nothing should get lost in translation like that, okay? That is a huge message. So if there's anything that, uh, that automatically speaks about separation, it's really not for you, okay? Because that really <laughs> triggers that wounding that you have. Divine says, wake up and smell the coffee alchemize these wounds okay it's time to to allow those patterns so you're going on this quest so that you can alchemize these patterns that are running in the background to eliminate those thieves that's the, that's what i have learned that's the type of healing i do i started out with reiki i am not dissing reiki in any way Reiki is really good at like cleansing and kind of like releasing the work that you've gone through. But we're talking about healings here and you rooting in energies that eliminate the subconscious scripts. Because if it's not healing the root, this is coming in so strong for you. If it's not healing the root, it's not healing. You see? Okay? And I didn't mean to make a judgment about Reiki either. Okay? Um, so I don't want that to turn into something. Um, I'm just saying that as a Reiki practi practitioner who was, I actually found that I'm such a sensitive, I was picking up on nuances in that flow that I was led to do my own. Okay? And I'm feeling this for you as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. So take it or leave it. All right, look at that. The same thing we cut to for the last group, okay? So the crystals want to come in. What's the energy around you, okay? What's this energy around you? We've got the alewife that really relaxing, pairs with lavender, okay? So we're kind of, I really am feeling that that's a connection. We also have this hermaphrodite. Now really look at this mandala, what I feel, what I feel is like a swelling, okay, which is really interesting. So there's this energy, this swelling, and I feel like it's because we're in that vision, we're on that quest, and it's like, you know, I'm just like thinking of the body. When you're on this quest, you're in the desert, it's like you don't really have everything that your body needs. You don't really have the water potentially. Okay, so really staying hydrated, 
really taking the time to realize that, you know, that your body is actually going through a little bit more in the background. Yeah, this is putting you on your mission, my friends. There is a lot of energies bouncing around. Okay, I can feel the vibration here. There's a lot of shifting. Um, and this is really, if you feel, if you, if you think about that, if you feel the vibration and you feel the motion, it's actually probably more taxing on you than you realize. So I'm really getting to hydrate, okay? The particular uh, one that's coming in, though, is Moonstone. Now, what's so fantastic about Moonstone is, I forget the, what the official name, but it has this shimmer and shine when you change, when you, like, move it around. And it's like, look at that, that shimmer and shine when you move it around. And we said that you have this motion, you have all this vibration. How can you collaborate with this healing? Okay. Because there is a bunch of energy. Look at this. I, I mean, I, this is what I was seeing. You see this guys, can you please help him? Sorry. My dog will not stop whining because there's a bone on his bed and he, he said he's such a prince. I'm seeing this card, your mission is inside. And it's like, there's a little bit of shaking going around, right? But what's happening, the crystals are saying, it's shaking things off. This is the healing. This is the difference between the two. Jordan, this is the difference between the two, okay? And it's like, there is movement happening here with your mission. So don't lose faith. This feels like a really exciting time for you, to be honest. So your divine feminine. Okay. All right. How can we collaborate with our own, what we're receiving, right? With our own intuition. This is really confirming what I'm feeling. The hummingbird moves so quickly, right? It's literally heartbeats 1,200 times a minute. So you actually, in a lot of ways, pile number two, feel like you are just like getting enough to get to that next step. And you know what? We're confirming that. But that's one way to look at it. I want to flip that. We want to flip the script a little bit for you. You're not getting just enough. You have everything you need to get to that next step. Okay. You're a pollinator. Okay. Without you, seeds don't grow. Okay. Is what I just heard. Listen to the giggles in the background. Okay. All right. Oh, we've got the fire ants here. Okay. This is a really beautiful message. Okay. Some of you, pile number two, uh, pile number two, pile number four is actually coming up. You might, if, if, if it is double confirmation that you have, this is the energy coming in. Okay. You can hear all of that. Thank you. Love you. My girls were supposed to be gone tonight. Okay, so for some of you, there's a changing of the guards, okay, is what we're getting here. Um, the fire ants really come in, and they and what they do is they take over your foundation, okay? So we're talking about the root. We're talking about your foundation. If you were a tree, the fire ants come in, and they kick out all the ants that are trying to destroy that foundation, Okay. That's the energy. All right. But let's see specifically what card is coming up for your dragon spirit. Look, at, I said dragon spirit. And we get the dragonfly on bottom. Okay. You're going through the portal. There's this whitening. Okay. You're really starting to understand a lot of your magic, your iridescence. And wherever there is a dragonfly, wherever there is a dragon, a snake is nearby. So you're really shedding your skin in a lot of ways. And it looks like the angels are here to guide you. They say they ride on the back, on the back, um, the back wings. Okay. 
but you're being, it's like, you're, I'm feeling you're centered. I mean, your energy feels really good. So the cheetah medicine, look at this. This is what we were getting. Are you, are you, are you seeing? It's like, there's all this movement. Okay. Now on the collective message, this is literally the energy I saw red, orange, and yellows, the pull in both directions. The cheetah is the fastest moving animal on the planet. Okay. And they also are very fierce warriors. Okay. Very fierce warriors. Now, it's interesting because I'm getting that some of you judge your emotions, but they are actually a part of your medicine. Okay. They're actually part. Oh, and look at this, the dragonfly and right below it, the dragon. Okay. You are strong feminines. You are strong divine feminines. You receive, you're very close to spirit. You're uncovering something deeper and it's like in a lot of ways and an instinct you're, you're like on the run and, and it's like very fast paced okay there's a lot of fast paced energy here okay the cheetah they are fierce warriors let's look at the activation at hand for you Rem how can you remember the energy that you're putting out how can you not allow, okay, because what I'm feeling here with this vision quest, right, and with this cheetah, it's like these energies, it's like, man, I already feel like I'm barely, you know, able to keep myself going in a lot of ways. And it's like, and now I feel this push on the run. And I feel that this has, of course, this has so much purpose as everything does. Let's go ahead and see what the activation at hand is. Maybe, okay, I'm not going to say I'm already feeling an energy, okay? But watch what we're putting out there. Because sometimes we feel that we're on the run, okay? But there are quicker ways, that's what I'm hearing. There are quicker ways to root and to manifest, you don't have to do all the work. Message. Okay. Yeah. That's the secret magic, the holy grail. Okay. How can you allow inner discovery, sacred, find sacredness? How can you know that you are not lacking? Because I was feeling that with this cheetah energy here. Are we on the run because we feel like we're missing something? Message. You have everything you need within you. Okay? So let's see what you're at. This is really strong, man. Spirit is going out of their way because, you know, when you're in that desert, it's tough. It is tough. But there is an alignment coming together here. Okay? You're coming together. This is what's aligning. What's aligning is your masculine and feminine energies. I feel it. Okay? You're being pulled in two directions, and that's because it's happening to all of us. But this is happening for you. You're shedding in what? It's like you're shedding and it's like you're releasing. It's like there's so much happening. It makes you feel like you have to be on the run, that you have to make that happen. But you don't. Some of that is the subconscious scripts. How can you alchemize and pull instead of push? This is a huge message that's coming in. Okay? So your activation. Oh, wow is to allow the, the angelic frequency, allow the angels to teach you how to pull instead of push, okay? Such a beautiful card. The angels are here. You are safe. You have a very strong connection. 
these energies and it's like you're already feeling weak you're already like miraging from being in in the desert but it's like remember with all this movement moonstones they have i forget what it's called but they shimmer they shimmer and dazzle when you move them so you are a root worker movement is important it is imperative Okay, I'm speaking to root workers in many ways. Okay, some of you, um, yoga is coming up. Some of you, it's all about movement, sound. There's so many different ways that you can create movement. Okay, I'm getting your activation is for you to work with your angels and guides on what is the best method for you. Let's see what the medicine's coming in related to that activation, okay? Yeah, you are so close to spirit. How can you keep that bird's eye view? What I mean is look at the higher perspective, okay? Look at the higher perspective. Are you serious? <laughs> Double confirmation, dragonfly energy. This is the healing at hand for you. I know we just pulled it out of here, but it feels like there's this little poem, and I feel like it's important. Let freedom ring. It's time to get out of that cage. It's time to burst into the sun and see all your glimmer. Dragonfly. Break illusions. Bring visions of power. No need to prove it. Now is the hour. Know it. Believe it. Great spirit intercedes, feeding you, blessing you, filling your needs. And this resonates so deeply with me because a lot of times when I show up with you guys, I have so many magical things that happen. I feel like I have to prove them. <laughs> But it's like the language, and, and, and it's the language I've been learning, and it's really deep. And I feel so grateful to have, to have learned. And not everybody identifies with it. Guess what? That's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that. I'm happy who's here, and, I'm ha and I'm, I know that I'm doing what I'm meant to do. Right? Hey, what's up? Welcome. This is the overall energy that's coming in. The medicine, the otter, your abundance is just in front of you. The pheasant is center point. So there is this healing at hand, but it's like, um, it's like there is so, you've been doing so much work. Now this otter in particular He's, he's taking, it, it, it does look like he's looking behind him, right? But what he's doing is just looking for his mate. So collaboration is really important. Just being here is collaboration, okay? Just me sharing that oracle message was collaboration. You see, there's so many different ways. And the angels... And your guides, they want to guide you so that you can pull this energy to you. They want to teach you. This is what this quest has been about, okay? Uh, wherever you've been, this is what it's been about. A lot of clarity coming in. So the medicine at hand, the medicine is that you're stepping into your queendom, my friends. And you have a choice. You have a choice how you show up. There is a shift going on. You are being like, there's not, there's no lie. You're feeling it. I'm getting you're feeling it. Okay. And you can show up as the grizzly bear or you can show up as, as, as the mama bear. It's really your choice. Okay. And what I'm getting is the healing at hand. There's that turquoise, right? These turquoise and coral coming together. And it's like, these are those scripts. Those are those, the coral is the seed of reaction. And so how do you know that you're in balance, my friends? How do you know that you're in balance with these energies? Okay, there's a difference of three. Balance is very important here. Okay, how do you know you're in balance? 
is when you're feeling that mama bear love and not that grizzly bear, okay? And we're not judging that, but that's your wake-up call. You're a root worker, okay? You're bringing in really what you're what you are creating. You're pulling in energy no matter what. So you want to pull in the push or you want to pull in the pull. That is your choice, okay? That is your choice. That's the medicine. And I feel like I grabbed that book for purpose because we're going to go ahead and just, because I'm hearing, read it for you. Another poem for you. Bear, invite me into your cave where silence surrounds the answers you gave. Wow. Introspection. How can you go within yourself? You've been on a quest already. What have you been learning? How can you not prove your quest, but how can you allow your quest to work for you? It's so interesting that I'm getting Percy. It's like as soon as I said Percy Jackson and the Olympians is coming through. Wow. That's really deep, my friends, actually. Okay. So let's see what the ancestors have to say. What do the runes have to say? Double prizes. Okay, I'm like literally hearing Sid. What's that movie, you guys? Um, what is it? No, 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 no. Sid. No, wrong Sid. <laughs> um, Woody and Buzz. Oh, my God. Toy Story. Toy Story. Okay. Double prizes. Like when he goes in, he pulls out the Woody and, and okay, now look at that. He pulls out the Woody and he also pulls out that little, those little Martian guys. Okay. And he's like double prizes. Okay. And it's just like, this is what your ancestors are saying to you. Double manifestations are in front of you. Really important to kind of go within and, and see what's speaking to you, okay? So this is the magic so far. But for you guys, what wants to show up is we have the angel prayers. The angels want to come up, and I love that because who knew we were going to choose the angel frequency for your activation. So the angels, they have prayers for you. And look at what's starting at the bottom, my pre-shuffle. And look at that yoga mat. I was feeling that. You're a root worker, so you have to keep those energies moving. I am aware that I'm a root worker. And so what I do, I just did it before I came here. I was definitely like, man, I need to go get a walk in. And I have shared and I love to share again that when I come, sometimes when I get in the car after a walk, I feel, um, it's interesting. I feel that swelling, my feet, my feet get affected and I'll close my eyes and I'll just see all the trees and what I'm feeling is they're helping me transmute the energies. Okay. The universe, we work in tandem. Remember, Mother Earth said ebb and flow, give and receive. Okay. So how about we make some healthy choices while we're waiting for some things to shift. Okay. Um, Yoga is coming in big time, actually. That's a great way to create some movement in that root chakra. Okay, we're going to do how many shuffles here? Okay, so yes, the angels want to come in and talk to you specifically about this shift, how to balance yourself in this shift, okay? So really creating some movement. Now, for those of you that can't get outdoors or for whatever reason, sound therapy is really great. And what's really good for general movement is 174 hertz. OK, so you can just put that out in the background and it just gently moves the energy. OK, um, running, walking, dancing. OK, all our movement. We also have music connecting with music. I definitely feel that connection between file one and two. OK, I'm actually getting some of you are transitioning into the quest. OK, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. Some of you transitioning with the with the solar 
the solar um, with Monday. God, I came and talk. The solar, uh, what's it called? Eclipse. There we go. The solar eclipse. Okay. And this is where I'm seeing that solar energy here. Okay. Creating a pull because um, just overall, when we have eclipse energy, is there an opportunity to kind of like, Spirit keeps telling me this, to like have a save in a game, to like save the healing, okay, that you've done prior. And so it creates the space and then boom, you're now in this vision quest un un uncovering even more, okay, uncovering even more. So let the music guide you, spirit animals, okay, look up that cheetah, look up that cheetah. If you're on, on Facebook, uh, Infinite Energy is my group page, You and if you're on that group page, there's a link here, but you can go to Facebook, Infinite Energy, that's me, and sometimes I can only post certain things on there that I can't put here, but there is a cheetah, you can just look up cheetah and in the search and it'll come up, the animal wisdom of the cheetah, beautiful messages, of course, there is also Oracle of the cheetah that you can look for in Spark of Wisdom, okay, um, and look at that eagle, okay, Look at that eagle. That's I'm seeing that same eagle that we saw in a different uh, deck. Really there. Uh, okay, actually this one. There's the bear. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> look up the bear. <laughs> okay. So look at the animal wisdom. Keep following here in animal wisdom. Maybe that's a new thing that's coming up for you to bring in, into balance. Okay. But Archangel Gabriel is saying, speak your truth. Speak your truth. Don't worry about proving it. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about really honing in and speaking your truth so that you can be in balance. Does that make sense? So that you, you know, and, and you'd be surprised. I mean, half the time I'm surprised when people are like, <laughs> It resonates what you're talking about. Like it takes a lot to really find our confidence. Okay. All right. Make no mistake. Earth angel, earth angel, won't you be mine? My darling dear, I love you all the time. My daughter is dancing in the background. <laughs> Trust me, I don't think dancing professionally is in her career choice. <laughs> you are joining. Look at this. You are aligning to these other earth angels. Okay. I feel it. Wow. All right. So what's coming up here, first and foremost, is your inner power, the divine thought, the divine Father, and I want to go back to the divine. There's a wake up call here. There are some subconscious scripts. Look at there's pure, look at the look at in the background. Do you see this Harlequin pattern? Are you familiar with Harlequin? How oh, she's half red and half blue. She's half fire, half ice. Okay, and it's like we want you to be in your true blue. True blue, that's the prosperity right behind you. Okay, look at the drum rooting in. Look at the leopard pants. Look at the snake. Okay, remember we say you're being pulled in two different directions, but spirit wants to assist to pull you. Divine Father, thank you for co creating my world with me. What I'm really seeing here, too, with that, we were talking about that snake where there's a dragonfly as a snake, right? And we're shedding. And that's what's really kind of, because I'm really feeling here, okay, if you're feeling this with me, because I'm seeing this on this card, and what I'm feeling is the big three, right? The big three, which are right here. So... You really might have a tie, my friends, with um, pile number, which one? Oh, pile number three. 
okay? Pile number three. If you're feeling it right now or this is like coming into your, when I'm talking about this is if it's resonating, um, that's pile number three. And what I'm thinking is what you're really on a quest for is your individuality, that special thing that makes you, you, okay? That unique thing. We have angels that do everything. There is an angel that you can ask to help you find a parking spot. There is, an, okay? But it's just like, what I'm trying to tell you is you have this uniqueness and you're meant to embrace it. You don't have to prove it to anybody except yourself. Okay. And sometimes for earth angels, this is very challenging to do because, because, you know, you have a memory of how it is to, for everything to be in alignment is what I want to say. And that is exactly what your mission is here on earth to help to bring those things into alignment. And sometimes this can be very challenging, right? Don't hate, meditate, really go within. Okay. Go within this, we're getting this. We got this yoga for you, making these healthy choices. I'm talking about uh, meditation, I actually mentioned that double confirmation. I mentioned I bet you're to observe, to go within, to not, to not over, to not react. Okay, this is what your angels and guides are coming in to teach you. And you can literally ask them. I cannot tell you how many times I have asked my angels. Is it, is it, is it of my highest good just to observe? <laughs> because I have been led to do so much work, my friends, within, like I'm an ancestor. Oh my goodness. And I don't have to prove it to you, just like you don't have to prove it to me, but I'm sharing it with you that your angel, you can be specific. And the more questions you ask, the better. The more questions you ask, the better. But everything you need is within you. It's all. It's already all wired in, okay? It's already all wired in. Archangel Raziel, the angels are just coming so forward, you know, letting you know that you have some spiritual gifts to uncover. You have some beautiful gifts to uncover. I'm actually literally feeling so much heat right here in the face. Okay, so I'm really getting immediately that your intuition is about you've got two look at two gifts coming in double gifts. How can you really hone in on what this uh, what this is? We're getting double confirmation about going within, about really observing, going inside, stopping that run. Okay, where we're getting it, like this energy is part of you. And, and, and there's two points of this energy, okay? We always think of the cheetah and how fast they can run. But, you know, just like the hummingbird, it's like because they run so fast, they need time to recover. This is actually really coming in so strongly about how you get in the ebb and the flow, my friends. Pile number two, really step up that recovery, okay? Really get your butt on that yoga mat. Go within. Have music playing to create that movement instead, okay? And, and allow yourself to uncover these spiritual gifts. Archangel Raziel, he might be a new guide for you, okay? Because Archangel Raziel, um, I mentioned Archangel Sandalphon last time. Archangel Raziel, he's the ancient one. He's the one that teaches you about your uniqueness, okay? So you can go within and see if he's actually working with you. All right, because the biggest thing for you guys is renewal, Okay, we're, we're you, pile number two. 
is all about renewal, but with movement. Okay. I cannot stop telling you about the movement. It's coming in in all the cards. And that's because you're a root chakra worker. You're a root worker. If you are not moving, the energies get stuck. But we also have to recover. Okay? So this is just really aligning to that. Now, your ancestors want to come forward. There is, you're getting a big message to root. Okay? How funny. <laughs> to root in. But also with this deck, what we also want to watch is, is the entanglement. Okay? So what I mean by that is I was just mentioning sometimes when we don't allow the movement as root workers, things can get entangled. And when that happens, when it starts to get entangled, that's when things get to, there's like a slippery slope. This is when we get a little grisly, right? This is when we start to run instead or or maybe some fear factors come to the forefront okay and for some of you um for some of you there's a little bit of a wake up call about i'm just hearing for some of you related to the moon um because when you're working as as you'll find for yourself you can go within and ask the questions but we're coming off the moon cycle okay it has the moon cycle has um, revealing about their, their, just like we talked about, there are good aspects and there are aspects that don't work for us, but because of how the moon works, I'm not sure why this is coming up, but it is. So I'm just going to go because there's this vision quest. I am feeling this is related to you, your equilibrium, your water. Okay. We've got these next two weeks. We've got this had the lunar eclipse, the partial, and now we have the solar eclipse, right? And the moon is involved in both of them. And I feel like what's going on here for you is to not be so much guided by the moon energies as you are by the energies within, okay? Because for some of you, the moon energies are creating this, like, this is the wake-up call those subconscious script patterns, the thieves in the background, they come more to the forefront when those um, mental, this is what I'm feeling with you guys. Pile number one was more emotional. I'm feeling mental body, okay? Most when we start getting in our head and we start getting on the run, you see? And we become cranky, right? This is why we're getting to move those energies, okay? All right, pre-shuffled pre-shuffled what's at the bottom balance my friends there's that fire and ice and it's like how can you just keep yourself centered look at there's just noise going on everywhere and now my phone's ringing i know it's my husband <laughs> okay it's all about don't worry about what's happening around you stay centered okay do what needs to stay centered and getting that movement will really make a difference all right. So I'm sorry. I need to refer. Oh, this is talking about your abundance. How can we get the movement going? Okay. We're going to do a little four by four action. The ancestors are coming forward. They want to lead you. I'm, I'm getting like a canoe. Okay. That's, it's interesting what's coming and we'll see if those cards come. I'm getting like, um, I'm, I'm actually getting in my mind's eye. Um, the picture of the canoe heading towards um, an island. And it's like without the paddles, we can't get movement. There are double prizes for you. The ancestors want to lead you to that. Okay. So we can't get entangled in our, our, our can't get entangled here. Remember, even when you feel upside down, you see the love in that. Okay. So continue to have that at the forefront. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Okay, three of bows. Many of you feel like you're at a crossroads, but like <laughs> Archangel Raziel, he'll confirm. Um, you're exactly where you're meant to be. Some of you have a lot of choices, actually. Um, some of you have, 
I'm getting, okay, this is maybe for some of you or maybe just for a few of you, but some of you, pile number two, have been working in spirituality for a while. You have a lot of gifts. And what's going on here with this card, what I'm feeling is you're at a crossroads and you feel you have to choose, which you don't realize potentially, okay, especially with this story, is there is no wrong choice, okay, because this is an expansion for those of you that resonate with that message. This is an expansion, and it's like it's not a detour. This is an expansion, and it will actually expand all your gifting is what I'm hearing. Wow, what a beautiful message. Okay, the blasted oak. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to show this. Really, how can we look at that? Like, literally, spirit is like, wake up. You're about, to, you're not going to be hung anymore. This is a wake up call. Things are changing for you. All the powers that be are making a shift for you. So it's all about going within and allowing that movement because some of you are literally processing this through like your root chakra. You feel it, okay? And you certainly do not want to get stuck and entangled. You want to have that king energy. You want to go my own way. Go my own way. This is about your individuality. This is about shedding the skin, comparing yourselves to others. Look at this competition and this fierceness. It's like, nope, I'm going my own way. Okay? I'm going my own way. Wow. That is so, I love that. And we've been talking about that here in your reading as well. Okay, the dragonfly and the snake. So see, it's right there. And that's what, it can cause some confusion, okay? But at the same point in time, it's an awakening of what's within. You're just going deeper, my friends. You're just going deeper. This movement is going to be a celebration, okay? It's a coming together. It's a coming together, and it's like, Double prizes. Everyone's cheering for you. Okay. It's like you have the opportunity to come up with more than you ever thought was possible. This is what your ancestors are saying to you. And trust me, my friends, we are going through a lot of ancestral healing. A lot. Okay. A lot of people doing different work. And, and it's like they're your ancestors and you're not even aware of it. But their unraveling is an unraveling for you, just as your unraveling is an unraveling for them. You see? Okay. All right. What are we talking about here in the wild wood? Okay. Which is a connection to the Celtic, right? To the Celtic, to the Nordic, to the inner earth. What we're talking about here overall, my friends, for you. Seven of Vessels. Okay, seven of vessels means that we're getting to that next step. Okay, because you're integrating a lot of different energies. And as you're doing that, right, when I saw that first card that we went to it was like, I'm at a crossroads. I, like, it's like, it, in some ways, some of you feel like you're grieving. Okay, some of you feel like you're grieving, that you're, that you're letting go of something, um, but you're not realizing. That's why your angels and guides brought you here. You're not realizing that it's an expansion. It's actually going to come back to weave in, okay? To weave in. See? To weave in. Beautiful. All right. How many cards here? Four. How can we get the motion? How can we get the movement going? Ace of Vessels, the Waters of Life. So funny. See that See that canoe there? <laughs> wow. See the swan? See the elk? Beautiful. Okay. So this is really kind of, I'm actually really tying in again to pile number one. How can we stay above the emotions? How can we see that the water is now cleared? Right. 
And it's like at the same point in time, there's really some alchemy happening. That's what I'm seeing here. So much is happening. But what we are seeing more than anything is the water is dripping. There is a movement. There is a tide in that water. But it's like, how can we use that to our advantage? Okay. How can we go within? How can we keep ourselves calm? How can we stay above the emotions? Okay. Um, how can we not let things irritate us? Right. This is the card I had in my mind's eye. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the one. Wow. The mirror, number 12. There's a lot of energy in this card, so I want to hold it up for a moment. What's catching you? And then I'm going to read this because I, <laughs> it's blowing. Like, it's literally blowing my mind that this card is in front of you. Like, literally. Now, the biggest thing that I noticed before we go to this card, I am familiar with this card a little bit, but I am actually just reading what I see is this serpent energy. You see how she's got these serpent legs, okay? Now, these serpent energies, they can get, and then that's, I already know, this is King Arthur. So this is that divine, divine masculine. We're here talking about a healing to the divine masculine, right? And so this is really, it's kind of speaking really about that divine feminine energy. And I want to pull that up. That was that cheetah, okay? So we're going to really take a look at these two because it's like she's not looking in that mirror. She's holding on to the renewal. And as I see in the corner here, we've got, I don't want to say it. I believe it's a, a watch. Yeah. This is a divine timed event for you. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Because that is blowing my mind. Okay. And overall, renewal through movement. Remember, this is a major iconic card in this particular deck. And it's called the mirror, number 12. Here we go. Now, there's a lot to read here. I'm just going to go ahead and do the reading points. Okay. I'm going to let you look some more because there's a, really a lot to see here. What's on that island, though, do you see what's on the island, my friends, is the three trees. That's the balance. So there's this, there's this movement to go from, to get away from the serpent energy, to renew the energies that made us feel emotional, that made us feel exploited. There's a lot of words that are coming in here. And we're creating movement to get that balance. Okay, here we go. Patience. I'm so sorry. I'm having a major problem with these glasses today. Patience and prudence are the key words here. Although trust plays a large part in the process of crossing to the island where the insights into our own unconscious workings may be revealed. The process differs from the journey of the hooded man which was also in your reading, who makes a conscious decision to withdraw and, and contemplate the universe. In the mirror, a surrender of will is required. Nights may come from dreams. Nights may come from dreams and meditation. There it is again. But now is not the time to force the pace or to drive on with the plan or desire until you have heard what your soul has to say. And you, I'm so sorry, I'm having a hard time reading because this light is like staring at me, right? <laughs> what your soul has to say and your bruised and wounded spirit can be healed. Be patient. Let the journey commence and awaken afresh and full of energy ready to deal with the world and the challenges it rises, that rises. Now, what's at the bottom here? Roots and branches. Like, we cannot get away from the root here. 
Okay, it has come up over and over and over for you. So some words that are talking about the inner journey, the lady in the lake, the Morgan, the dark, uh, the mermaids, the muse, the siren energy. Okay, so this is really talking about, even though we're talking about your masculine energy, for you, pile number two, we got to get that divine feminine in check. So I want to flip over here for just a moment because what I do love about this book, I don't like that I can't find it, but what I do love is it will tell you, oh, I just went right to it. It will tell us when we're in and out of balance, okay? So I wanted to read that. When your cheetah is in balance, achieves anything boundless energy. When you're out of balance, impatient and competitive, that's what causes that entanglement that we saw with the snakes. To bring into balance, reconnect to your purpose, and what else? Meditate. Go within. Okay? Beautiful message. Two more cards on how to get movement. How to get movement for yourself. Are you kidding me? It's coming up again. So <laughs> we're just going to read the reading points. It's just kind of a rule of mine. If it comes up three times or two times, we it, it's, it wants to be shared. It definitely wants to be shared. So the suit of bows is talking about your destiny. Here, here's a phrase you can think of. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It's a thing to be achieved. We're talking about the element of fire, my friends. And if you really want to jump into this fire, I want to tell you there's information down below about the immersion, the pillar of light immersion, which is all about the fire and air energy, my friends. You want, you want to come out with your skill set? Join us in Utah in a couple weeks. We still have a couple spots. We would love to have you there. Love to have you there. Okay? So we've got the three of bows here. We started your reading out with this card. This is where we started on the pre-shuffle. And I'm going in the wrong direction. Okay. So we're talking about fulfillment for you, my friends. That's what's at the bottom. The archer must be one with the bow to fully direct its potential energy. And just as the arrow passes the bow, propelling to its target with effortless grace, the questing heart and the seeker of knowledge allows the energy to flow through him. This combination of balanced energy and intellectual focus enables the mastery of any situation which allows the enrichment of success by being both, both at one with the environment and its inhabitants. Reaching this inner stronghold of strength and peace can only be achieved by constant reappraisal, vigilance, and commitment to your goals. But the act of letting the power flow through you and having the trust to allow the arrow to fly completes an unseen universal circuit. The inner stillness and focus that produces easily apparent and observable to others and builds a sense of trust confidence, and security in those for whom you are responsible. This inner shining energy will inspire others to start out on their own path of discovery and to sojourn to fulfillment. What was I telling you? I was feeling pay it forward. So if you feel the transformation, if you're ready to transition, if you're ready to then start and, 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 and do the same for others. I really feel pile number two, you would benefit so much by investing in yourself to allow yourself to relax, 
to go within and come to Utah. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm feeling it so much. So I'm just going to share it. Okay. Last card for you to get that movement. Six of stones. It's like this exploitation. This is what we're talking about. I want you to look at this card for just a moment because it's a little fearful, right? And that takes me back to that food truck thing happening yesterday. Very fearful, my friends. But at the same point in time, it's like my friend Jolene, who's one of the girls who's going to be there. Maybe she'll be here. Hi, Jolene. Uh, one of the girls that's Pillar of the Earth. And what she told me is we're doing things in a new way. And it's true. We're getting out of the hive, the cell. We're talking about the slave energy here. We're talking about letting freedom ring. And in order to allow freedom to ring, we've got to burn down everything that has built that concept to begin with. This is the wake-up call. You are safe. You are secure. Things are falling apart so they can fall together. Anything you have ever lost there is four by four. There is a movement to allow you to push through, to allow all that you have lost to come back to you in a new form. It feels so beautiful, but it doesn't feel easy. And that's where I want to be transparent. And I got goosebumps when I said that. Right here on both arms, because you feel the weight on your shoulders. You do. And I understand where you are. And I am always here if you want to talk. You can always send me a message, guys, angelinsight.net, because I understand how difficult this quest is. I truly do. You are not alone. And it has so much purpose. And it's confusing as hell, and it can be scary sometimes, but everything is within you because of the choices you've always made. This has been lifetimes, okay, pile number two? But this is the one where the pattern breaks. This is the one where you collaborate with the healing, where you feel the movement so that you can shine. This is the one where you align to your angelic frequency because you are an earth angel and you have gone through such evolution to be stripped of everything and then to come back into that place of all that is within you. This feels so beautiful. So I just thank you for letting me read for you. Okay. Thank you. I It was such a pleasure, actually. So let's see. Archangel Samuel, is, have we shared everything with pile number two? It was, oh, nope. Okay. Do you have another message? I'm going to go within. See, this is this is what we're supposed to do. We're going to go within. So I'm going to ask, do you want to show me something? I'm getting a yes. Okay. So we're going to go within. And Archangel and, the, and my angels and guides are going to show me something. And this is all coming up with purpose because this is exactly what you're meant to do. Kind of waiting for this bright light to pass because I'm like, I can see all that in the background. What I do see right away for you, okay, I'm, I'm very much feeling you in my feet, okay, to some of you. Yeah, and, and that's when I know, okay, this is the message. When I feel in my feet, that's when I know I need to go within. Is there some, some sort of uh, physicalness that you feel for me. And I'm, I know a lot of my friends are like, what is it with you and your feet? I'm like, it's just energies that are trying to kind of, you know, pull me back down 
So I go within. But what I am seeing in here as I'm, in, I'm as I'm in your energy is, man, there's just like, first of all, I can see why I picked up on this because it's like what what's coming in the most is the focus. OK, it's like things are out of focus. Um, it's almost just like fog in here. OK, and so that's just really a big message to to really allow yourself to go within to calm things down so that you can get to the root, okay? And for some of you, I'm feeling as I'm getting, I'm, we're, we're going into the energy here, okay? We're getting, we're starting, my angels and guides are starting to get me into what we're, is the root of the issue here. Oh. Wow. Okay. There's already a message that some of you are not even aware of your spark. Some of you are not aware of your spark because you, for some of you, you can't see it. You can't feel it. But it's always there. And it's just waiting for you to awaken it. There are these energies that I'm feeling. There's these other energies, okay? This is that wake-up call to really get to the bottom of what are these, and we're talking about the mental body, what are these subconscious scripts? Oh, boy, real strong pins right here. Okay, this, okay, so this, okay, I'm getting a story here that it's like, this is like creating when we get these energies stuck in, when we get in our head, we get these energies stuck in that mental body, okay, and what they do is that's the thieves, those are those subconscious scripts, they're delusional, my friends, they're created uh, over, over lifetimes, okay, so they're, I mean, they're created with purpose, usually from going through some painful events, okay, which you're an old so you, you've experienced so many painful events. And so your memory is sparked. So you're, okay, so you're aligning your spark to that memory, which is illusionary. So you're being called to go within so that you can allow I'm getting allow the shadow to show you truth, to fall through, to allow that to fall. I'm getting like this and expand so that you can allow that to lift up and come out of that mental body, which then, in fact, reinforces you to be able to be uh, to not fall into the emotions. Your mental, what you think about yourself, those things that run in the background are really contributing to you falling into those emotions. That's what's, that's what's coming here. Let freedom ring. Release yourself from the prison of your own subconscious scripts. Now, you're not sure how to do that. I have a class coming up pretty soon. Um, it does exactly that. It heals those thieves. You can check it out, 222 on the clock, okay? Um, check it out uh, at angelinsight.net. It is the rosary. It is 33 attunements, plant and, uh, plants and crystals, and they allow you to journey. They allow you to journey within, and I am your guide. Um, but it becomes this new tool. Because you would tune. So yes, we work with them together, but that's just to introduce you. But they continue to work with you um, so to really, to really alchemize all the stuff that's in the background. Okay. So if that's resonating, boy, we can get a lot of movement happening for you. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Um, and if you've taken my class, Deb, you're still on here. Holly, any of 
anybody who's done an attunement with me, let me tell you, it moves it fast. Okay. Um, all right. So this is a beautiful reading. Let's see if we captured that. Archangel Shamuel, is, did we capture what you want, what you showed me? Do I get your, do I get your approval now? Yeah, that was the special medicine that Archangel Shamuel wanted you to know. Is that everything you need is within you, but you've got to go in long enough to discover the root. The root. Okay? So why am I hearing the roof? The roof. The roof is on fire. <laughs> we don't need no water. Let the mother trucker burn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And it's that is a reference to this card right there. It's gonna be a lot of things burning away. You're getting out of the hive. You're being released so that freedom can ring. Okay? Because the queen, there's vibrations, but this is the vibration that we're picking up on today. The vibration of the queen, okay, this is like winter, okay? Look at winter. And the queen, she has to jump. She has to leave the hive so that she can start over somewhere else. But think about that. She has to be the slave to create the, the prosperity for all. We need to give and receive in balance, my friends. Pile number two, that is your reading. I thank you for being here. I would absolutely flip my lid if I saw you in Utah because I am like genuinely really feeling it for you, pile number two. I really am. Okay. So I hope to see you there. And I thank you for being here. And we're going to get going on pile number three. I hope that resonated. Give me some feedback. You know, I love it. We're going to go ahead and move into another pile. All right. Here we go. Pile number three. 225.44. Okay, isn't that interesting? Right away. Okay, connection to the fours. I, I just got it. Oh, that would be the pile number two. Okay, so <laughs> pile number two. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, pile number three. You are the Tibetan magpie. Now, you may have noticed your coloring is different than everybody else's. Um, renewal is a double confirmation about renewal. You are the blue magpie channeled messages for you. First of all, you're the only one found in the rainforest and with the rain, rain and actually water in itself, I'm hearing water consciousness, water guardians, um, I'm hearing there is a rarity. You are a rarity, okay? And the number 50 came in. There is a shift happening for you by spirit. Um, many of you are stepping into your true color shining through. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Um, this particular... Uh, magpie is actually vulnerable and they are only found in one place in the world and that's in Sri Lanka. Okay. So we're talking about for you renewal that came in double confirmed. We're talking about a third eye activation and expansion in your vision and particularly renewal by alchemy. Now, your battle cry is all about strength and honor. We have the movie Gladiator coming forward, okay? So in that battle cry of strength and honor, there's a lot here, okay? In fact, you have kind of the most, and that's because you've gone through so much. So I just want to say thank you. First of all, uh, we're talking about uh, mutual respect between between you. I mean, 
there's this mutual respect between you and what others do that's at the forefront. You have trust among your peers. You have core values and they shine. You have excellence in all aspects. Now, aspects is being underlined and actually kind of jumped out. So what are the aspects in your chart? You might want to look into that. Those might be at play. Um, you're not allowing how things appear to determine your reality. You are staying grounded and rooted. There is this inspiration about you. You have, in quotes, a long time awaiting judgment. Hi, honey. The girl. I don't think they're there. How can you uh, reflect these qualities in others? You're being, I see that you're in a leadership role. And this is what really wanted to come forward is the idea of what a centurion is. Okay. So let's learn a little bit about you. A centurion is a position that you cannot buy. It is a position that you cannot apply for. It is a position that is earned and it's earned over 16 years of experience. So you have been in this for a bit, okay? That doesn't mean you've been spiritually awakened because, but, well, many of you have been awakened, but you didn't know that's what it was since birth, okay? But you didn't know that. 16 years of service, the valor in the fight. You're able to carry 90 pounds of equipment. Just listen to you. Listen to how powerful you are. 90 pounds of equipment, trek 20 miles in the harshest of conditions. And by the way, you all the equipment that you have, you've gotten at your own expense. Not only that, you're also expected to shield uh, soldiers um, and be a skilled builder and engineer. I'm hearing you're a pioneer. Being a centurion is the highest privilege, my friends. This is not something, again, that you can buy or that you can imitate. It requires dedication, commitment, persistence, selflessness to lead a life of unwavering character. Character being defined as in being able to influence every dimension of who. We are. Okay? Abraham Lincoln. Um, there's an Abraham. That was an Abraham Lincoln quote. Character is like a tree and, and a reputation like its shadow. These all are coming forward for you. How is character created but through choice? More a willingness to accept the responsibility for your choices, the habits that you perpetuate. The thoughts become words, words become actions, actions become habits, habits develop character, and character is what carves your destiny. Let's be clear, this is not something you have or don't have, it's something that is purely developed. So... I have full goosebumps because you're stepping in a leadership role. You are renewing by alchemy, okay, is what's going on here. We have alchemy and we have definitely authenticity coming in in this reading. Let's go ahead and see more about you. All right. Mother Earth, look at all three piles. Music plays a part. I know. Music definitely plays a part for you. There's that movement. Things are moving, okay? But you're staying rooted. Nothing's going to knock you over, okay? I'm actually hearing, ain't nothing going to take you down. What's that song? No, I'm gonna, ain't nothing going to break in my stride. Ain't no one going to hold me down. Oh, no. Got to keep on moving. 
How can you keep yourself grounded? How can you allow the elements of the earth to come and to assist you for all the work that you have done? Really focusing on that breath, staying not in the future, not in the past, but in the now. This is what's coming up for you. We've got the wind activation. Hmm. How can we allow the earth? Okay, because, okay, that river, that movement is actually created by the wind, my friends. And we see this whale here, this coral energy, okay? And so the wind is blowing, and I'm getting things away. And this is because of your dedication. This is because of the development of your character. How fitting is that? The divine wants to come in. The energies to collaborate here is how can you refine your attention? How can you get around to it? Around, now this is many different aspects. Some of you are ready to step into that leadership. Some of you are just, this is, a, this is just coming. It's just being developed. No matter where you are on the steps that you have taken, no matter where you are on these steps, look at how many you've, what's being refined here is look at the steps that you have taken in dedication to development of your character, watching your words, watching your actions, being fair, creating loyalty, creating inspiration with others. Be patient. Your alchemy is just in front of you. It's so crazy. Like, I just feel so, like, just in your energy, it feels very stoic. Okay? I feel, like, strong and sturdy. But you have been in this position for so long. You've been so dedicated to your path, to the development of this character, that you've lost yourself a little bit along the way. You forgot what it's all for, okay? Because, yes, even though a centurion is a great warrior and has mutual respect for all others who are in the fight, the reality is it's time to let go, to unravel and to allow the fruits of your labors. So the divine says, do all things in moderation. I cannot tell you the amount of times. I love that I do Oracle and I learn lessons all the time. But there's like, I, sometimes I catch myself, I'm getting so much better at it. Like I have to get online. Like I have to do it. Because there's like this competition, like other people are doing things differently. I do things differently. I'm okay with it, but sometimes I still judge myself. I forget to let go and just enjoy what I do. And I'm, I don't mean to talk about me, but I'm using it as a reflection. Okay? Because, I, I, because that's what's coming up. And I can tell you that sometimes I force it. Now I have shared with you, and this is this has this is meaning, because I've shared with you how this oracle has come together, and I could have forced it and then look at the beauty and the development of the character would not have come through in this oracle. Because if I would have forced it, it first started coming in over a week ago. And then five days later, and then some stuff today. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like, if we want to have, okay, I'm hearing, if you want to have focus, there's a, there's this great quote. If you want to have focus, you've got to let things develop. Now, I am getting, like, a camera there. So do some of you take pictures? Is this how we can relax and enjoy things? Some of you have some beautiful hobbies that have been waiting for you to capture them again. How can you create this um, – 
how can you let go of the will and surrender and trust that you have earned that you have earned the wind coming in is coming in you have earned like it's just like things the the universe has your back my friends your angels and guides they have your back it's like you have proven yourself you need to understand you have taken all the steps okay so it's time to allow yourself to really feel you know that alchemy to get those ingredients so that you can create the chemical the chemical that's interesting let's let's keep going let's keep going there it is again do you remember i told you pile number 1 pile number 1 remember this was your crystal. Remember I said there was a connection to the lion? Okay. So maybe <laughs> it's coming up. It's coming up. First card in the energies. The lion. The gladiators put in the ring against the lions and has to fight to the death. Right? Have you seen the movie Gladiator? It's not fun. But if you keep your, your head in the right place and your emotions intact, and it's like you've done all of that, but it's like now it's time to see past the warrior. You've learned everything. The hardest thing now is to surrender. That is the hardest thing. Okay, we've got black tourmaline here showing its face. I'm hearing changing of the guards. There's a changing of the guards. Okay. All right. So on bottom, we have this reflection. Okay. And this is what I'm seeing here because I'm feeling that number 23, your individuality, it's taken all this time to develop it. And then there's this reflection back and forth, right? And both of them are talking about a shift. And look at, I'm like shifting, going back and forth. And look at, doesn't this look like a, like a stone? Does this look like a stone to you? It looks like a stone to me. And while I'm doing this, and while I'm looking at this card, the wheel is about to turn for you, my friends. The wheel is about to turn. Okay? So don't, don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. Amplifiers are all around. Wow. This is an alignment to amplified energy. Clear quartz is an amplifier. It actually pairs with basil, <laughs> which I have at my altar right here. <laughs> wow. Holy basil, to be exact. And talk about an amplifier. Look up holy basil, my friends. It is like one of the most important pieces of vegetation, weeds on the planet, to be honest. It's an amplifier in detoxification, okay? Detoxification. So it looks like you're going through an amplified time right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at your dragon energy, your spark, what's happening here. Another correlation with pile number one, you are definitely feeling the work, okay? But everything you need is going to come to you just when you need it. The zebra has individual, has its own stripes, okay? This is what you've been developing. You're infusing that color. Look at that. This is, and this is what, right where, where that third eye, and that's what we're talking about, a change in your vision. It's not black and white. We're infusing it with color. We're seeing things in an expanded view, okay? And opposite of the hummingbird is the iridescence of the hummingbird and how they actually look like sequins, right? And that's what I'm getting here, this little 
the shine. Okay, the shine. On the bottom is the whale, particularly the blue whale. Okay, the largest of all mammals. The largest. You are just such a huge energy. And the whale comes up, right? Has to come to the surface. Okay, I literally told you I was not making that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, the, the blue whale, right? And it's like he travels the entire ocean. He knows the oceans. Oh, yeah, water consciousness. That's what I was getting for you. <laughs> water consciousness and amplification. Okay, that's that's interesting, and I love that. I was like, was that you or not? And it's like it's like you're coming from those shadows, and you're really you've developed that character. It's like you've been circling the oceans for a long time. You you've been around for a real long time, and that's why you've got this development of this character. That's what a, that's what actually magnetizes people to you. This is actually part of why things are amplified. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. You're transforming from the depths of the ocean to the highest heights in the air. This is what's happening. Okay. The golden eagle is coming up. It's like you have been transformed. We're letting go of what was. And it's like once you let that all that go, you've proven yourself. And it's just like, it's like a snap. You know, it's kind of like a boomerang. It's like everything you put out there just comes back to you. And it just lifts you and 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 lifts you. And, lifts you. and then you have this amazing perspective. The golden eagle. The golden eagle. We're talking about renewal with alchemy. The coming together of everything you need to be exactly, exactly where you're meant to be. There's just so much more that wants to come here. Okay, so let's just keep going. What's the activation at hand here? It's the higher heart activation. We're letting go of that will. You've proven yourself. There's this mastery that you have, okay? And you've proven yourself, and now it's time to surrender and allow to go through your heart space to go into this higher heart. This is, this is the magical ingredient to make this alchemy happen for yourself, to create this chemical change within you is getting into that higher heart which by the way is the ultimate healing for the divine masculine to rise from the solar plexus into the higher heart chakra because there's a different view it's a different view there my friends okay <sighs> The halls of Amente initiation were no longer black and white. Remember that zebra we just saw, the black and white? Look at, there's a portal, there's a change. There's an expansion here in the third eye, okay? Specifically in the third eye is what's coming in this particular pile. So how can we, secrets are being revealed, treasures uncovered, Innovation, innovations, okay? It's like you've earned this energy. You've stepped into this. It has been something that you have that you have worked for, okay? And it's coming to fruition. I love this. How can we put down our sword? Look at this. You are such a fierce warrior. You have learned all you can in battle. 
your battle cry is literally, I shared it, strength and honor. And you see that within others. Okay? You were so protected. Cords are being cut. This is a breakthrough energy for you. We're seeing that from the depths of the ocean all the way to the highest of heights. We saw the halls of Amente. Your activation is in the halls of learning. Spirit guides, confirmation, great lessons. I'm actually hearing that you are actually a spirit guide for many others. Wow. Much happening on the astral for you. Look at all this golden. Look at all this alchemy. You're going to guide others as well. So you're just learning about this alchemy, or you have been. Let's see what the medicine is coming forward for you. This is just such a beautiful reading. Lots of messages, especially from the ancestors, collaborating. Just the whole gladi gladiator timeline is speaking to you, okay? This is about your abundance. This is about getting your nut. This is about, uh, this is about stop being in the circus and being having to prove yourself. This is about actually grabbing your abundance and running okay but the biggest thing with the squirrel is to watch the mind because sometimes what happens is like it's hard to believe that it's true right so that's just a little a little side note there spirit is bringing in your balance You've got the bunny here Okay, again, like, come on. This is so connected to pile number one. One and three. <laughs> Double renewal. Renewing with alchemy. Spirit is rewarding you. It is just like if you chose that, like, double confirmation. And why? Because you are... <laughs> I love it because I'm hearing 44 ladies, something my husband jokes about. But it's like the hummingbird has already come up. We saw that. But what you're not realizing is that some of you in this reading are actually the flower. Okay? And some of you are the hummingbird. That's why we have the 44 here. It's kind of a split. And that's the healing. Some of you, it's about what you're putting out there. For others to receive the sustenance to continue on their voyage. Because you're the centurion. You are you have earned and developed yourself through character. By you taking a snapshot and developing and finding your focus, you assist others to do the same. And some of you are the hummingbird. And what that means is that on your mission, you, have, you know that you have everything you need. You've traveled the harshest of conditions. You have the valor. You have the sustenance. You've, you, you've fought through so much to develop that you actually plant seeds in as you travel. So see how there's a split there. You're each learning all about your medicine. You're each learning about your medicine, and I'm getting to read you a little bit about your medicine. And this is like emperor energy, king energy, okay? So what I'm feeling with you. Hummingbird, joyful little sister, nectar you crave, all the sweetness of the flowers is the love that you gave. It's like you're reaping what you have sown. So beautiful. The ancestors want to let you know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm. This is exactly what we had in pile number one. Exactly. They want you to spread your wings and expand and see you for all that you are. And that means in your power, unlimited imagination, you've developed 
you're like the top of your craft. You are a leader. And, and not only by, by you doing this, by you and really embracing that, remember, this was the, what was it, the set? See how quickly I forget <laughs> on the runes? Always learning, okay? That was the, the elk sedge, right? But what's different here is in pile number one, we were talking more about the irritant, the film in the water, the, the sledge. What I'm feeling is the elk. You are the elk. You are so connected to the divine. And you are a leader for others. Okay? I love this. I love what's coming through for you. All right. So let's go ahead and see for your reading. Pile number three. Oh, but doesn't this make sense? We have the Ascended Master. And we have the Emergence Oracle. So. We're going to start with the Ascended Masters. They want to teach you about the alchemy and how fitting is that. So we did a pre-shuffle. And look at, look at my beautiful hummingbirds. The nectar, that is the healing. You are searching for the nectar. Okay, so this is now. We've gotten a little bit more information here. The nectar of the gods, okay? This is what's on, on, on bottom here. All right, so that's a good place to start. We we're talking about this is your abundance. Okay. I'm at, this is a masculine energy, by the way. Your actions are going to really be rewarded. Stay impartial. Stay in your lane. Focus on your craft. You've, develop, you've worked this hard to develop it. Why would you change it now? Okay. Why would you change it now? It's not about, okay, this card always says greed, but really look at the number 13. It's about renewal. It's about you have unlimited potential, my friends, unlimited. So let's go ahead and see what else the Ascended Masters want to bring in. One more shuffle. Be patient. Okay. Fast-moving energy amplified energies coming your way okay this is a time amplified for you you're definitely getting <laughs> back what you have sown all right so let's go ahead and see remember many of you are builders you've been so dedicated you've been walking this path you've been following the steps look at those pillars in the background Okay, <laughs> it's like you feel blinded. Now, many of you, uh, double, I'm getting double confirmation, two and three, like pillars in the background. You want to you wanna be able to understand what you've been doing. You're so dedicated to your work. Come to Utah. <laughs> Find others just like you. Okay, we still have the, the um, details are in the, in the box below. Sorry. All right, so we're seeing three cards. This is an ending for you, okay? This is time to be one with the healing. The universe has your back. They're spinning the energies as we speak. Watch how things are going to unfold. It will definitely be in your favor. Stay in that character. Look at prosperity is at the forefront for you. This is... This is I'm hearing the elixir of your alchemy. This is the elixir of your alchemy. And look at, uh, look at all this alchemy. Look at alchemy. Look at all this gold. Man, you've been doing so much work. And it's like now the universe is spinning that back, back to you. And this is what's meant for you. This was always your path. And now it's like you're being pulled exactly. Like look at the energy of this card. You being in your authenticity is just pulling you, developing that character, really, really digging deep and, and walking this walk and, and learning. 
Like, look at all these blues. For some of you, I am hearing blue ray. I'm hearing that you're, that this, this is interesting. That you're the connector, that you're the amplifier for others. Wow. Okay. And, and this abundance was always for you, my friends. This is what you decided to do when you came here. And it's been a long ass haul. <laughs> And it's time for things to really change for you. It's time for you to have this alchemy and this and this authenticity and this magic and not feel like you have to prove yourself over and over and over and over. There it is. Abundance is here to find you. This is what brings everything. Look at third card. Th the two in one makes a three. We're talking about 33, we're talking about alchemy, we're talking about really stepping into that leadership. Let's see what this card has to say for you. I always say the names wrong, okay? <laughs> Just so you know. All right, here we go. The Ascended Masters are going out of their way for you. This is Kabura, the god of wealth and abundance. He was the son of sage Vish, Vishara, the son of Lord Brahma. And as the king to the Yakushas, see, this light, I'm sorry, guys, I'm having a hard time reading with the light. Okay. Uh, he was appointed guardian of the heavenly treasures. His primary duty was to share and distribute the treasures while simultaneously creating them. And remember, we started this collective reading that we're going into the secrets. We're uncovering the secrets, the secret treasure. Okay. I'm feeling like this is in your earth star chakra. I'm feeling like you've had to prove yourself over and over and over, but we've had a collective earth star chakra activation and, I feel like this is really resonating with you, especially in this past year. You're really starting to feel the pull, okay? This pull. Okay. When this card appears, abundance is on its way, along with the responsibility of having to share it with others in order to create more. And what a better person to choose than the centurion, the one who's developed the character, who's proven and have earned that title. Wow. There's an, unex an exponential factor of abundance attracts more abundance. This card is of expansion, contentment, opportunities being presented to you from many different directions. You are being blessed with love. Contentment and happiness heralds the opening of doors, the past that were previously unavailable. A feeling of exuberant pervades you. You feel alive and filled with optimism, increasing your network of social media and circle of friends. It signifies the manifestation of material goods, receiving multiple, multiple offers simultaneously. Can I say bring it? Can I say claim it? Wow. A chain reaction of good things may be happening in your life. You may become more aware of resources, people, places that benefit you, indicating unforeseen lack, favorable circumstances, a windfall, prosperity, financial gains, a lottery win. Did I not say get a Powerball ticket? I've got four myself, four entries. Hey, Kendall, I love the zebra. I love that that you just did that, okay? Or there may be four uh, events that lead to a brighter future. It could bring the creation of a bountiful circumstances in your life where you surround yourself by luxury, abundant resources. Share them and use them wisely. Wow. Look what happens when you take 
the high road, my friends. Look what happens when you take the time to develop that character, when you don't allow all the obstacles to shut you down, but instead have fortitude to push ahead. We need more people like that, like for reals. So thank you for never, I'm not going to say never losing your way, because of course we are all human, but you have definitely, <laughs> you have definitely been walking this path. So let's see, what are we emerging into? This is the magic for you. There's a new structure coming in to bring you into balance. For all those things, I want you to think of the movie Gladiator if you haven't seen it. Like, it is terrible what this man has gone through. Terrible. Okay? But this is the reminder of all that is lost comes back to you, yes, in a different form. But it does come back to you. And so we must never give up, my friends. No, no matter where you are on this path, we must never give up. And we must never give up not only on ourselves, but on others. And that's part of this role. And that's part of, uh, of the responsibility that you have moving forward. However, it comes with ease because you remember the journey. It is at the forefront. It is your journey is the vision. Wow. Wow. Fast moving energy is coming. I'm kind of like dying here because um, I was talking about my friend Jolene. I've got the Jaguar here. Okay. This is your self worth. This is your integrity. This is your character. This is where we're starting. What a perfect place. <laughs> what a perfect place to start. So, what is this fast moving energy? What are we emerging into? We're talking about legacy, my friends. We're talking about affecting, as you know, on this channel, not the seven generations in front of you or behind you, but what about all the generations before you and behind you? We're talking about creating something new where these things that have held us captive no longer exist. Can we go there? Use your discernment. Use your discernment, my friends. Okay? The great horned owl is here. Yes, observe. Observe. Because many of you are expecting the hardship to continue. Okay? So use your discernment. Don't watch the things that come your way because you've got lots of different pathways available. Lots of energies. We just saw that. Lots of different energies coming, all favorable. But however, we are human and there are energies, always energies fighting for our attention. Do everything in moderation. Yes, this is an amplified time for you. Okay. But that doesn't mean we don't do that checkup from the neck up. That means we don't go here. And I'm not even worried about that. And I'm not sure why I'm mentioning it. Because it's like you've done so much to develop that character in the first place. Right? Fertility, creativity. But more than that, those strawberries are talking. And I was just literally telling my daughter yesterday that the strawberries, it's like you plant them and they expand. They reseed themselves. Okay, because they are seeds. That's that abundance that we were talking about. Okay, and I'm specifically getting with the strawberry in my mind's eye. It's like coming is the um, is a crystal combination that goes with strawberry that I've been led to, and it's called starbright. Starbright. It's literally a crystal that has a cross on the front of it. And it's like you have bared your cross. You have carried it with diligence. 
not just diligence, with pride and with inspiration to others. I mean, it's just like hard to find the right words. You've been through a lot. You really have. You really, really have. And that's why you're having this breakthrough. Okay? But notice, we're not fully out of that. But we're breaking through. We're emerging. Here, at least. So there's still some stickiness. There's still some things that we can get caught up on. Especially the memories of what we've been through. Uh, I'm getting like a lot of like, I can't believe I'm hearing, I can't believe that's butter, which is hilarious. Okay. So watch the invitation. I, I mean, it just comes through. It just comes through. You're a weaver. You're a creator. The spider talks about, as I talked about earlier, it talks about the ancestors. And so you are the first. You are the first to create the ancestry that comes from you. This is what I'm feeling. This feels really big. It really, really does. Whew. All right. Call your power back. Spider is on bottom. You are a strong weaver, strong creator. It is the lioness important for her to be in her power because isn't she, if you think about what the lioness does, isn't she the centurion in herself? Do you feel like the Roman, like I feel like the Roman gods back there, I feel the gladiator. Do you feel it? But I also see some fox. I see some, I see, it's interesting. I see some fox here. I see some wolf here. Okay. So take your power back and allow yourself to see more. To see more of who you are. Because one of the wounding of the lioness, weren't we talking about the lion? Yes, remember the parsley and the chrysocolla for the lion to keep the lion calm? It's because the lioness, she has to fight for the attention of the lion. That's why they call it the pride, right? The universe says, you've proven yourself. You don't, you're not competing with anyone. There is no competition. You have proven yourself. This is time for this to end, and it's time for you to claim your power back. Because, you know, the lioness is the hunter. The lioness takes care of the kids. The lioness, they and they work together. That's another thing that's really coming up here. There's other centurions. Can you imagine what can happen when you collaborate? What? Life-changing movement. Life-changing movement. Wow. Healing and abundance is at hand. This is what is aligning you to your center. This is what's pulling you. You're being pulled in this direction to your bounty, to letting go all that you have been through, to allow it to transform. And look at all these flowers. Like, I mean, we said you were a pollinator, okay? But there's ceremony here. There's sacredness here, okay? Healing and abundance are for you. But at the same point in time, it's part of the conditions of what you've gone through. And one of the hardest things, it's like, I'm really being reminded, it just came in, I'm really being reminded of my oncology work. I was, an, I, know, I don't know if you know, but I used to be an oncology nurse and it was a career I loved. 
And everyone's like, oh, it must be so hard. If you've heard me share this, I'm sorry. But everyone's like, it must be such hard work. It is hard work. I mean, it is. But for me, it was inspiring. They were my sentience. Every day, I heard people say things like, don't sweat the small stuff. Live life to the fullest. Do everything that you never, you know, do all the things now you never know when things change. Can you imagine being surrounded? I didn't see the sadness. I saw the power. And it and actually it, it allowed me to quit my job. Okay. It allowed me to be so inspired that I took action what aligned for me, not because I didn't love my job, but I just really wanted to be home with my kids. That was 20 years ago. I've been around healing my whole life, my friends. Now I'm through the drain, (laughs) through the drain. Okay. How can you let what was, how can you let that warrior, that fight, everything that you've been through 16 plus years, my friend, How can we let it go so that we can nourish the soil to grow anew, to flourish? Wow. I'm going to read this. This is what comes together. Unity, infinity. Oh, throw one. Look what's in the center. This is all about, you know, full circle moment here, and it affects all in your ancestry. Look at all this beautiful purple flame. Man, I love this card. I love this deck. Prosperity is yours. This is this deck is by my friend Joanna who I was in a class with called Prosperity. Many of you know, I absolutely love this deck. It is the deck of Prosperity and it came out for you. Okay. It came out for you, pile number three. Do not question. We're really going out of our way for you to understand what's coming for you. Unity, infinity, rebirth, cycles of growth, regeneration, ancestral connection. Greek for tail eater, Ouroboros is one of the oldest mystical symbols dating back to 1600 BC. It is a representation of the infinity and the unity of all things material and spiritual, never disappearing but perpetually changing form. Similar to how we decom decomposition of dead leaves is what nourishes and regenerates the soil. Hmm, we just said that. For the emergence of new growth, the promise of serpent of the serpents. So let me have the serpent come up for you. Oh, that was last pile. Ooh, double confirmation, pile two and three. Okay. The promise, the premise of serpent consuming its tail speaks to how destruction or chaos infinitely supports creation. Ouroboros is the archetype of individualization, which is the process of bringing the unconscious parts of ourselves into our conscious awareness and integrating those parts that have been repressed, denied, or denied individually, culturally, or society, socially. Let's just say that. Through this process of excavation, illumination, and integration, we become who we truly are, something that you developed, which is who you've always been. Along with the symbol of Ouroboros, the art piece also contains 44 ancestral hands. What? There's that 44, y'all. Not to mention (laughs) all the other connections created from beeswax. Consider how the significance of the bee, as well as the numerological significance of four, structure, stability, foundation, and eight, the representation of infinity may provide additional insights into your question. 
into your abundance. Wow. So I just got to tell you, this is like an amazing reading, <laughs> but for some reason, I'm going to check in. I feel like maybe we did miss something, but let's see. Archangel Samuel, do I get your seal? No, did we miss something? I was feeling it. Okay. So do you want to show me something? Oh, no. You want to channel a message. Okay. And who's this message from? Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Because we talked about discernment. We talked about, um, we talked about energy. This is an energy that I know with my secret handshakes. Yeah. It's not at the light. So we need to take our power back. So you must leave now. Go now. You cannot stay here. I call my power back to me, to the light. I am powerful. I am powerful. I'm powerful. I'm sovereign. I am free. I am part of God. God is part of me. I am on my highest timeline on the best earth in the best universe where the light has won. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Was this what you wanted me to share, Archangel Samuel? Yes. I feel right here in the clavicle, interesting, I just felt like a release. Okay? So um, if you're feeling an energy, a tightness here, call that power back just as we just showed you. Thank you, pal number three. Oh my gosh. Your reading has inspired me in so many ways. <laughs> um, as, and, and should, because you are just an inspiration. Not only, and I know you know this, but not from, it's not from an ego. It's like, it's like you inspire yourself on a daily basis. That's the cool thing about you is he, you like, I don't know. I love it. I love it. Keep doing what you're doing, my friend. Thank you for all you've done. Uh, and I can't wait for the world to be filled with more of you, <laughs> to be honest. All right. Last pile, my friends. Last pile. Three, two, one. Alignment. That's what I just heard. <laughs> the black rumped magpie. We're talking about our root chakra activation. We are talking about the Egyptian magpie. Okay. I did hear that you have a big shift going on and integrating is really important for you. Okay. Um, and what's really being highlighted in your particular pile is an ending. Okay, so there's something that wants to end, and I definitely know that you have another pile. Okay, so I just want to say that. All right, um, your battle cry is "Give me liberty or give me death." All right, um, I wrote down channel messages that you have. Uh, I wrote down alchemy. I wrote down individuality is at the forefront as well as renewal, and I wrote and I wrote down get ready. Okay. Uh, some of you are three and four. Okay. Messages about your battle cry. This liberty, give me liberty or give me death is actually a famous closing line by Patrick Henry in, um, <laughs> in 1775. Um, I've got, and it's so interesting because I have all these numbers here. So I've got the energies of 369, which is really talking about the vibe, the frequency, not, not the vibration. The frequency is what draws to you the frequency of 369, which means that this heart centered, it's this heart centered, um, expansion. I can feel the passion. Um, how can we, extend that to compassion. Okay. 
So I feel your passion. How can we extend that to compassion? How can we see where we are and how can we appreciate the growth from where we've come from? So, so looking, so taking a moment to kind of look at how far you've come is what's what I'm trying to say here to feel that passion is what brought you here, but to have compassion for the journey that you've made. How can we see and how can we meditate on the word liberty and what that means to you? I heard friendship, pledge. This is about your truth, my friends. We're talking about slavery versus freedom as well. In this, interesting that we have two piles about that. Connection to pile number two, I think. Chains and slavery, okay? And then I wrote down, this is, I think, a quote. It says, um, oh, no, I heard, I'm sorry, this was written a while ago, so I'm like, what did I write here? Okay, uh, let's see. Chains and slavery found it. Almighty God, okay? I don't know, oh, I don't know what course other, oh, okay, this is the phrase. I'm so sorry. I'm like, what am I reading here? This is the phrase at the end. Chain, this is actually part that I wrote down. Ready? Chains and slavery, forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. I was getting the number 17 vibes. I was getting uh, that you are an orator. I was getting independence, and I was getting the number Three, three, zero. All right. So those are the channel messages ahead of time. Let's go ahead and see what does Mother Earth want to say in collaboration. Are you kidding me? I mean, I, I, I can't make this up. We have chosen this on every single pile, like literally. Okay. So I want to remi remind you in the collective. Uh, I want to remind you to go back to the beginning. And look at the collective activation and the song, Smooth Operator. We are uncovering. It's like a secret service. We're uncovering the secrets that are underneath. So staying grounded is really, really important. Mother Earth is bringing this straight to you. Okay. Ooh. I'm saying ooh because... I've talked about root workers. I've talked about water guardians. And I just heard earth guardian. Okay. So are you ready? Are you ready for what's to unfold? Are you ready to rise from the muck? Are you ready for a new day? Are you ready to shine? Wow. The lotus here, I'm definitely feeling with that lotus. I am getting a connection here. I do feel teachers here. I am feeling um, that timeline that's coming in is really related to the sacral. It's the Lemurian timeline, okay? So that's coming to the forefront because that was really a painful timeline. Um, but it's like at the same point in time, there was a lot of learning happening. Okay, so that's why I'm feeling that. So the card coming out is reflection, okay, um, for here, for you. And this is from Mother Earth. Look at this. It's like you've been on this journey. You've risen through, okay? So here's you. Here's you on top of that water. But it's like we've just had this winter solstice. We've literally gone through that here where we are, where I am, okay? We literally just had, well, we're going into the spring. We just had the spring equinox. So we're reflecting back. What have you been going through, my friends, in the last three to four months? What's been happening? I know for me, it's been pretty much chaos. <laughs> really, I'm just going to tell you, chaos. I feel, and, and in a beautiful way, when I reflect back, when I reflect over the, my last couple months, which I have done, um, I just get the get backwards. I've been going backwards. Are you been doing that too? But backwards, meaning 
an undoing, an unraveling, a, a, a letting go of the muck. So as we go backwards, also moving, remember we're being pulled in two directions, okay? So you, my friends, are rising to the top and I'm hearing it's really going to change your connection, okay? Really going to change your connection, literally on the earth. Will you be seeing license plates? <laughs> Will you be, um, it's like, yeah, refine your attention, pay attention to what's all around you, little glimmers, little shimmers, everything's going to talk. Interesting. Oh, because the magpie, okay. I'm like, where is this coming? The magpie is, is attracted to things that shimmer, okay? And so that is the energy that's really coming through right now for you, okay? Collaborating with the divine. Live life to the fullest. Live life to the fullest, okay? I am feeling this diamond energy, okay? It's like... Um, and, and that's what I love with that reflection, the facets, okay? The facets, the fascination yes. with the facets. Interesting. I love this, actually. All right. Overall, the divine says, love yourself. You are a masterpiece. And you're constantly evolving, okay? It's like the, as the paint is drying, you're putting another another layer on there and that's exactly what you're meant to do that's exactly what you're meant to do is consistently involved is one of the only constants in the universe go with the flow allow things to unravel okay this reflection perfect time by the way we're in some retrogrades right now and retrogrades are where you can really hone in and claim the healing they happen for you to claim the healing. So if um, for some of you, I'm getting this, okay, <laughs> going through your notes, go back, go back in December and start reading through. If you're somebody that journals, what were you journaling four months ago? What insights come to the forefront, okay? Because some of the things that you were getting a couple months ago, it's now time for them to come forward. Okay, it's now time for them to come forward. What's the energy around you? I feel like it feels so juicy. It's the second time I've said that tonight. Yeah, you're rooting in something. It's really taking form. Okay, Meditite actually pairs with elephant head for me. Okay, do attunements. If you don't know, I do attunements. Crystals and plants, they come together in pairs. And that elephant head is so beautiful. It's um, It looks like an elephant head. It's a pink blossom. And so there's this, look at this pink. This pink. Really, I think, you know what I'm feeling, my friends? I'm feeling that you've made this surrender. And, and now that you've made this surrender and you've really kind of stepped into this you know, unconditional love, which I am not going to say was easy, okay? Because, you know, sometimes got to get a lot of lessons to do that. But that, but, but there's this, like, pink, this spark, okay? I'm getting this Quan Lin kind of energy, um, like, from the Ascended Masters. Maybe you chose pile number three. And right now what's really being highlighted is this pink dragon energy. OK, this awakening of this dragon energy. Oh, my gosh. I know I've mentioned it. If you've been with me, thank you. Shout out to all who are here. Thank you for all the love, y'all. Um, um, we, If you if not, welcome pile number four. Don't forget to go back to the beginning. I do all everything live. But also with this dragon energy, anytime that you can get into the mountains, this is going to be a very um, is what's coming. Okay. I don't know how to say that in a word. <laughs> so I'm just going to, things are just going to flow together. Okay. So anytime that you can get into the mountains, we are going to Utah. 
that's in the description box. We'd love to have you join us. We do have some spots left, okay? So that's being said there. I felt the need to do one more shuffle, which is unusual, okay? Because I feel like what's really coming up, that as a right, okay, in, and that's kind of the special magic is, like, I feel like things are coming into balance, okay? There's this reflection. Do you see there's, like, two sides to the coin? Are you seeing it? We see the trees with the water, and now we see this unraveling, and, and it's, like, now with this, that's what I'm feeling with this as a right, okay, which pairs with gladiola. So it's like we're seeing things in a new light, in a new height. Another little link to pile number three, This the energy around you is amplified. I'm hearing it's off the hook. Okay, that is really um, taking me to Saturn. Okay, off the hook. So, uh, where is Saturn in your chart? How is how can that come up? I mean, yeah, I'm, I mean, it's just coming up so clearly for maybe one of you, maybe more of you. Okay, your divine feminine energy. It, here's the turtle. It's like calling for you to be in the current. It's calling for you to allow. It's an amplified time. It's interesting because this is what's drawing. We just drew this card. But you see this, you see this ribbon of white, more whiteness in the middle. Okay. It's like this is the current. It's like, I don't know if it could be more white. Okay. But it's like that's what I'm getting. It's like we're all in this individuality. Every turtle shell is different. And yet for and yet for eons and eons and eons, the secret is to get into that current. To allow the movement, because you know the turtles, they move slowly on land, but in in the water, they actually go quite. They propel themselves forward quite easily. Okay, um, hmm. I'm getting a visual in my mind's head though, of like somebody walking huh? over turtle shells. So, have you felt walked on before? This would make sense. With There's a lot of different energies coming in here. Okay. The otter is coming to the forefront. This is really speaking to me in a very interesting way. It's like we have this water energy, but there's, it's like we're in, we're out. We're looking, we're, we're separated. We're walked on. This is really a testament to your journey. Wow, you have been through so much, specifically in how you receive, okay? We've seen this card, pile number two. I mean, can I say thank you, spirit? <laughs> this is coming back. <laughs> At the bottom for pile number four. Wow. Wow. Look at the transformation. Wow. This just feels so interesting to me. And I mean, I just have to show it because when I lift and show you, I see the next card. And there's that barn owl again. Do you see how these energies are, are really, really <laughs> coming out, like, to be noticed? And uh, I want to grab this book because we have not read the Phoenix card. We're still kind of getting used to this. But this is spirit coming through for you in a really big way. You see this symbol? That is spirit. Okay, so full circle moment for you. So let's go ahead, and there's an extended message as well. So let's go ahead and look. Now remember, what was your battle cry? Your battle cry is, give me liberty or give me death. 
Well, the phoenix is like a death, right? It is, it is a renewal, wouldn't you say? But what it is, is freedom from suffering and past karma and reincarnation is what this author says. The phoenix represents the transformation of our past. It doesn't mean running from it, denying it, or, blur or burning bridges with rage. The phoenix employs an advanced technique described in yoga as the burning of impurities through practice and dedication called tapas. The essence of the phoenix with us when we realize we have suffered, excuse me, when we realize we have been suffering too long and something must change, we take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven into the unconscious mind and its long list of fears and, and, and aversions. At that very moment, the spark of the phoenix is lit and with great bird, and this great bird helps burn through our baggage. Give me liberty or give me life. Wow. We are on fire here. We no longer run from who we are, what has happened to us, or what we have done. The stuckness and the dead weight fall into the ashes, and the lightness and the clarity emerge. And the stagnancy continues to smolder. The phoenix lifts our spirits up and up, and we begin to recognize ourselves again. We may catch a glimmer in our eye that wasn't there before we, before. Look closely. It's the sign of fire of transformation is upon your wings. Wow. The phoenix, okay, you ready y'all? Synchronicity. The phoenix and the first chakra, <laughs> the root chakra. The ancient yogis believe that our heaviest karmas reside in the first chakra. The earthen centered is called the mudera or our root. And we told you this is a root activation. Wow. The ascent of the phoenix begins here. And is the entanglement of karmas is slowly burned. It rises from the ash towards the the navel center, and again, it makes its way, journey from the first to the third chakra, purifying our essence, freeing us from the past. Wow. Okay. I was feeling that. We in the right place. <laughs> What's the activation at hand? Halls of Amente Initiation, Secrets Revealed, Treasures Uncovered, Initiations. Wow. I mean, there's just really a lot of magic here, you guys. There really, really, really is. Earth Star Activation. Okay, but look at where we are on that Egyptian timeline. Now, everybody looks differently. But this earth star activation is what's really initiated. There's a root chakra activation within you, okay? Isis energy. I'm feeling empress, high priestess energy, actually. This is an alignment that you've come to. This is an alignment, okay? Karmic board clearing. Energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live your truth. Sorry, this is like being blown out. There we go. Live your truth. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Like, see, so look at, we said this is an ending for you. Remember? We said this is an ending for you. This is just feeling, okay, as I'm talking, I'm just feeling a lot of like jitters in here. So maybe this is like catching some, uh, this is just amazing how these cards are coming together for you. And what we have is an Orion activation, supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirth by light. So a supernova is literally an explosion of a star. This is star power, okay? This is 
from being hunted to being placed in the stars. This is huge. Okay, look at all the energy on this card. Supernova. So it's like, this is like all the energies that have that have been in that root chakra, all the, all the things. And the root chakra is all about you're connected, how you feel connected to the earth, to the people around you, to everything. Okay. Um, and it's like, this is a super huge activation because you've been feeling hermit mode. You've been feeling left out. You've been feeling, you know, you've been going through a lot actually, but this is an amplified time for you to understand that this is all creating this new beginning. It's creating your evolution. Wow. So what's the medicine at hand for you? Okay, the bear comes up to let you know this is a shift. It's hard. Remember when it came up earlier, if you're still here with me, it's, it's like you get a choice. You get a choice of how you want to show up. The magpie is speaking. Okay, because the magpie, you know, on the Egyptian timeline, this is kind of interesting because when I went in to do, I always do a little research on the different animals because I think it's so cool how the differences come in your reading. But what was super interesting, go Google Egyptian magpie and maybe you'll see what I saw. There was no words. There were there were like two videos actually, and all and they showed the pyramids, the Sphinx. They showed um, they showed like all these antiquities of what's in the pyramids. Okay, and so this is letting. I mean, I really feel that uh, uh, a lot from that timeline for you. Like you have a knowing that you, you know, that's when, I mean, that was probably the last time that spirituality was at its height, okay? And so you you may have a remembering of being a, a high priestess, an empress, going through rituals, participating in ceremony, right? I can say the last time spirituality has always been around, but yeah. Okay, so anyway, there's the squirrel. And it's interesting because right away I'm getting Ice Age. So on bottom here is, is kind of like overall letting you know, like don't be so obsessed with the nut, okay? This is really highlighting your mental body, actually, and I'm feeling that connection to, to number two, double confirmation. I think that was the pile. We we're talking about the mental body, okay? There's another 10. 10, 10, third confirmation, 10, okay? Unlike deer, antelope, they never lose their antlers, okay? You have a very strong connection. You definitely have antennae is what I'm hearing. You're definitely plugged in. Okay, you can see the antennae on the phoenix. Like I looked down there, right there. You have this antennae, okay, amplified. It's like, you. it's like, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? And the antelope is all about um, really allowing things to uncover. This looks like, to me, like a crown activation here, okay? Is what is what I'm seeing here. Of course, you are the third eye. So that makes sense to me. Okay. So it's all about balancing the magic, your authenticity, really stepping forward as you are, um, and showing the wisdom, really showing the wisdom and allowing that to take center point. What have you learned in this experience? I'm getting it's it's very deep. Actually, I'm getting that it's hard for you to put into words. I'm having that same issue here in your oracle. Okay. Um, yeah. You've been taken on a very, this is, this is the rune of the writer. 
okay? And it's like you've been taking on this journey, especially in these last four months, and you've really just had to kind of like find your way through. But this is actually, as you're being pulled in, in two different directions, that amplified energy, right? And it's like pulling you, and it's like, but what's been happening is like you're being stripped, bare boned, except for your connection. Don't doubt your connection. Okay. And it's like, yes, there's a reshuffling of these energies, but it's to allow you to step into. Okay. I'm really feeling these wings of the Phoenix. And when we talk about the Phoenix on the Egyptian timeline, you want to take a little ride. Okay, what we're talking about is the Ben, the Benu, B-E-N-U. And so you can look up that. But basically, that is the phoenix on the Egyptian timeline. And every 500 years, there is a new initiate. And so has this been something that you, I mean, I just want you to think about that for a moment. I was kind of getting Lemurian. Like, is this an evolution of your soul? It feels like it to me. It feels like you've been on the ride of the lifetimes. And now is the time to really hone in and to allow that to close so that you can allow your connection to pay forward the wisdom that you learned in that. It feels really, really, really significant. OK, for you to understand, to not understand, to 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 share that with you. OK, so we've got the wild offering coming. I pre shuffled. May I offer all my deepest longings to love itself and invite the divine plan beyond the mind's imagination. Please use me for my highest good. I did just hear Mandela's. Okay, some of you use Mandela's in your work. Um, I love that because I think there's more teaching there. Um, okay, I'm hearing Mandela's. I'm also hearing, um, I, I just got like 108 chakras. So like the Mandela's is like interesting. Some of you have this work with Mandela's that actually helps align the, the chakras. This is the teaching. This is the uncovering. Wow, you please let me know if that resonates. <laughs> Who is that? Whose information is that? That sounds so cool. Okay. Um, money, money, money. Money. You are meant to make money. But what's what well, you're also meant to know and to understand. Why do I keep saying and understand? Okay. And maybe that's because we're getting clarity here, right? Maybe that's what it's all about, this clarity, because there's been this reshuffling of energies. So, but, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be feeling like you're, I'm talking down because I'm not. But there, it's just like understanding. Okay, well, the archangels are here, so they do want to teach you something. Don't despair. You have not been forgotten, my friends. You have not been forgotten. It feels like it. 500 years in the making. How many lifetimes is that? Think about it for a minute. We're nourishing those forget-me-nots. Divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance. And I totally want to underline, I was hearing it here, underline this line, deserving to receive. So you have been on such an incredible ride. It's been pretty painful, to be honest. And now you're going through the burn. You, you're embracing this opportunity. You're letting it all go. It's been in layers, layer after layer after layer. Some of you are wondering, is it going to stop? Okay, it is. Did you hear that? Nobody's out here. 
something just fell off the fridge. <laughs> Things are falling off, like literally, so that your abundance, what is for you, can come in its place. Okay? So that's really being highlighted here. Okay. Sorry, you guys, I wrote down. Okay. And what's also coming in its place for you is balance. So we're going to do one more shuffle, actually. This feels really important. I told you we're talking about star power. We're talking about a reshuffling of energy. Allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me know to take care of the inner child so that he, can, he or she can feel love no matter what. But what I'm getting here is this has been what's really a little bit painful is that you've discovered along the way, along your journey, you've discovered that, you know, you in turn were the destructor, the chaos. You were the one that created. But it's like we are everything. That's the wisdom. That's the teaching. That's the beauty. Is that you judge yourself for it. This is why it's been a long process and there's no, there's no reflection of the time. Okay. But it's the understanding of like, of like this lifetime, because this has been like multiple lifetimes. I'm getting multiple lifetimes for you that you've been working to uncover this, this, this is a big moment in your evolution. High five, my friend. High five. Don't worry about the mistakes. What would we do without Reese's peanut butter? Mistake when the peanut butter ran into the chocolate. Right? <laughs> Some of the best things have come from mistakes. So don't judge yourself. Some of you are like, I shoulda, coulda, woulda. I'm hearing all kinds of messages here. It's different stories. But what's speaking? What's speaking is not, is not really the truth. What's speaking is the wound. And this is what we're going back. This is what, this is what you've been unraveling. This is why we have spirit coming in with the burn. This is why we have the blowing apart of your star. It's like what, what's so brilliant and beautiful is when the supernova happens, it's like a scattering and we all are affected. That's what's so brilliant. Okay. Please show me the right action right now. Please bring me a sign, a miracle that gives me clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body for the some reason I'm about to head in the wrong way. Please stop me. This feels really deep, okay? So I'm, 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 I'm not walking cautiously, but I'm going to tread lightly. Now, these pansies, I'm really kind of like forgetting what they pair with. Um, but they talk about, you see the purple, you see the purple and the, and the yellows, okay? Man, you know what this talks about? This talks about um, your will. This talks about everyone told you you couldn't and, and yet you found a way. This talks about so many things and this is what this is what i'm feeling it's like so many energies make you question who you are this is really deep really really deep and what's really coming through here do you see all these different energies i mean we've done this in lots of piles but what's really uh, coming to the forefront in your particular pile and your energy is the expansion of all these energies and the fact that it's amplified, okay? 
And so it's like for, for what I'm feeling, okay, is like a little bit like a, this confusion, like almost feel like faint, okay, um, which is interesting. I don't feel faint, but there's like this like fall feeling. We had that whatever fall in the other room, okay, and I really want to highlight because I think we went out of our way where it says, and for some reason, I'm about to head in the wrong direction. Please stop me. And I just want to let you know that spirit is letting me know that when you completely surrender, when you scatter, you're everything. And so there is no way to make a mistake. Because some of you in this pile, because I'm feeling it, it, I feel it on my heart. It feels really heavy. I feel it here. So some of you have questioned some of the actions that you've had, and some of you feel bad for things. Some of you are heavy hearted for things that have happened to you. You've been really, um, you, you had really kind of felt very small. Okay. But that's why your aunt, that's why your ancestors are like, Hey, we're lifting you up. We're putting you on the horse. We're taking you for a ride. We're taking you on a journey and it's like you're taking so many things in. And what's what's really interesting is it's all getting convoluted. It's all kind of like, like mixing, right? And it's like it's turning into something new. There's a transformation. And it's like, but you're like, wait a minute. What? what uh? So Mother Earth says, take time to reflect. Take time to look back. Okay, is really important because what's interesting about this card is if you're the writer, why do you need direction? Allow yourself to be guided. Do you see the difference in these two cards? Like this feels like despair. This feels like dark. And then look at, we have this pink and like this whitening and again, these mandalas. Okay. So this is, this is your first card to come into balance. This is your card to bring you into balance. Companionship. That's the overall thing. And all piles is to collaborate. The music is in all piles. Collaborate is in all piles. When you when you feel fully blessed and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. How beautiful. May I welcome the solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. And so you've been in this cave, if you will. You've been on this ride, if you will, for a minute. That's what I was feeling. I was feeling very somberish, feeling not heavy, but but yet heavy because you're going through all those emotions. But what's bringing you into balance and giving you so much hope, okay, I can feel it, is that you're coming out of this. You're aligning, okay? You're aligning. And it's like as I am reading this, I'm being told to go here. This is an ending for you. The three, uh, I shuffled three times and this is what's telling me to balance the three, to bring into balance your authenticity. This is an ending for you. This is what we've said over and over and over. We're going out of our way to say this is an ending, but what's coming up here is action, okay? Run, antelope, teach me of action and its pace.
quickly, quickly, so I can run with grace. Now, I've got a couple things underlined, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it for you. Oh, okay. This makes so much sense to me now that I'm remembering this card. Okay. So the antelope, I'm just going to read this because I don't want it to get lost in translation. It feels very important for you. When time was just beginning and the tribe of man was small, antelope saw that the two leggeds were naked, hungry, and in danger of extinction. The ancestors would soon vanish from Mother Earth if action was not taken. The antelope took action and came into camp, calling all the two-legged two -legged together for counsel. Great mystery sent me to teach you a lesson. The lesson is to do. You have no need to be fearful if you know what to do. <coughs> Excuse me. And when to do it, antelope said. And what shall we do, said the people. If you are naked and cold, you shall kill me and take my coat to keep you warm. It is my gift to you. Do it. We will, said the people. But what of our hunger? We will be starving. What will we do to save ourselves? If you are hungry, you will kill me and take my flesh, for it will nourish you and make you strong. It is my gift to you, a part of my evolution. It is my service. Do it. Antelope knew that humankind would not survive the Ice Age. Interesting. <laughs> If people learned to eat meat, if people didn't learn to eat meat, wait a minute. Antelope knew that human humankind would survive the ice mage if people learned to eat meat. Before the movement of the great ice mountain, fruits and vegetables had been plentiful and the two leggeds had no need to eat the bodies of their fellow creatures. The clans of the second world ate antelope. Taking the instinct and the wisdom of the four leggeds in their bellies, the people learned through each creature's essence how to survive. They were taught never to waste or to take more than they needed. When they were in need, the two leggeds knew to take action. Humans learned antelope's lesson well. Because of antelope, humans took proper action and survived to this present day. Antelope taught humans to honor the gifts sent from great mystery and to avoid indiscriminate destruction of life. Antelope signifies knowledgeable action, a symbol of the antennae of your hair. That's, I mean, that's so crazy. The antennae of your hair, which attaches you to the great mystery by its long cords of light. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, looking at the antelope, you become aware of your mortality and the short time span we have on this planet. With this in mind, you must act accordingly. Proper action pleases the great mystery. Antelope medicine is the knowledge of life's circle. Knowing of death, antelope can truly live. The action is the key to the essence of your living. Antelope powers have been courted and shamanized since the dawn of time. Antelope, antelope, antelope clans have been many, and the power of the antelope people is great. Antelope medicine gives you strength of mind and heart, the ability to take quick and decisive action to get things accomplished. Wow. Okay, so that just really kind of helps a lot because I was feeling that sacrifice. I was feeling that loneliness. I was feeling that, that, um, and I was feeling all the energies that go with that and, and, and how lonely that must feel. Okay. And it's like, no, we're bringing you into balance. You're not meant to be sacrificed for the greater goods of others. Okay. That it's like, we're not going in that direction. So the archangels want to come forward and they want to tell you about how to end this. Okay, this is the magic for you. There's a shift at hand to collaborate. They want to teach you. And the shift is into peace, into your abundance. Okay? There is a land in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. 
Look at all those cherry blossoms, the renewal. Okay. Wow. Japan is like famous for their cherry blossoms. That is actually coming up for you so many different ways. Shuffle number one. How can we allow the shape shift to end? How can we let go? Okay. These are some painful memories. The vulture, it's been, it's like that vulture is like he's circling. And it's like you're trying in a lot of ways, there's a resistance, right? And I get that. I get that. But it's like the message is surrender. Let it go. Let the tower moment happen. Just let it go so that something new can come in its place. That companionship, that amplify, that amplify, go with the flow. You're being taken care of. Okay. Okay. That was shuffle number one. Shuffle number two. This is really kind of speaking about the past. How can you let go? That's the healing at hand. How can you let go of what was and step into something new? It's like, it's like you just have to take, you just have to have faith. You just have to surrender to the process. You just have to allow yourself to be guided. That is what's coming in over and over and over. The Violet Flame Prayer helps a million times over. It helps me <laughs> more than you know. <laughs> okay. So you can grab the Violet Flame Prayer. If you can't find it, let me know. It has been, I'm going to be honest for me, life changing. Life changing. Okay. And has allowed me to really surrender and to know that I'm being protected because I, I know along my awakening, it's been really confusing. And, you know, it can be detrimental to your health to be circling and to be holding and to be, you know, I'm trying to say, I just feel really grateful to be able to relax and let go because and to not be attached, to not be attached, to not be attached to what we're letting go of, to allowing it to change form for our evolution, for our existence. That's the magic. That's what the ancestors are trying to tell you. This comes from the Indian deck. This is the medicine card. This is the fast-moving energy coming. Okay? Hawks, birds <laughs> are talking here. This is Camille. I mean, there's just so much energy in this card. But it all speaks to surrender. It all speaks to surrender. Wow. I'm actually feeling like a headache. Okay. And it's not even a true headache in your energy. It's what it is. Okay. It might feel like a headache to you. But what it is, what I'm feeling, it's an expansion. It's an expansion. It's an opening. It's a perspective coming in here. And, and yours is a root activation. So what's so interesting is that when you connect and fully root, it's like, it's like everything aligns. That's what's being amplified. It's like, it's like, the root chakra is the stability of everything above it. And so if that's a little off, then everything is askew. And that's this fast moving energy. When we get that into balance, then everything else just makes sense. Okay. Beautiful. So the archangels want to teach you, look at, <laughs> Archangel Haniel is on the bottom. Okay. Number eight, about your abundance. Okay. About your centeredness. 
about being here, right? These are all the different things that are coming to the forefront. But she has a message for you. Mm. Archangel Haniel speaks of the spark of vitality within you being restored. Here we go again. Quan Lin, the pink dragon. I am definitely feeling it. Wow. The spark of vitality within you being restored, giving you the courage to express yourself with real grace. Whatever you do, do it from your heart with great passion. And I'm hearing us in give me liberty or give me death. How can we expand that passion into compassion? And I mean, I just have to do it. She's right here. This is what I'm talking about. Quinn Lynn. Okay. And I did a whole share on that recently. She's right here next to my ancestry. Okay. Wow. Give me liberty or give me death. Okay. You have been working a minute on this. All right. So. Allow the transformation in all arenas of your life. I was like, where did I see that? There's that ending. We're going backwards. See the 37 to the 27. You feel like you've been pulled back, but what you're not realizing is that you're about to spring forward. This is happening on so many levels, and it's affecting all relationships. Okay, all relationships. Look at all these planets. And it's like in the center. Whenever I see this card, it makes me think of a clam and the and the pearl in the middle. And that renewal and that pearl is you. You and your connection. We told you the word alchemy came in. You are a beacon for others. You have lived the transformation. You see not only the view of the lion and the ox and the eagle and the man, but you have walked many walks. Look at this card. There's so much here, my friends. It's like what I feel is what I felt the whole time. You are a divine Lemurian. And you are a teacher, a great teacher, and you teach others what to do when the tidal wave, when it feels like you're about to go under, you are the one who understands how to, you know, how to surf, how to surf, how to create that alchemy. Okay, so Kira Bill. Number 33, I mean, I just love all the beautiful synchronicities, you guys. So beautiful. And this is what I was feeling. I told you I was feeling it. You are the renewal. This card, opa, if I can hold it, is about illumination. Do not delay. The time has come to share your light be unafraid to speak your truth, for there are many who will benefit from your message. Wow. So this particular, um, I'm feeling called to read a little bit more. This particular person who, I love this oracle. Okay, I really, really do. I've learned so much. We have learned so much together. When I first experienced a meeting with this force of this angel, I felt and saw huge golden talons like those of an eagle coming down from above me. I physically felt the sheer weight of being in, perched on my shoulders. His eyes flashed with golden fire. His wings blazed with lightning that came in multiple surges of electrical heat. Golden fire surged and spewed in sparks from his human mouth when he spoke. The request was far from light and fluffy, although still loving, it left me trembling. 
However he may look and sound ominous, this angel really does have our best interest at heart. Like a cosmic lighthouse, he calls forth peace and light and its heights of wisdom and knowledge within us. And he is here to help everyone on the planet to awaken and to ascend. Wow. <laughs> I mean, these readings have just been unbelievable. Archangel Samuel, do I get your... Is there anything else? That's it, you guys. We're going to wrap it up. This has been an amazing oracle. Thank you to everyone who's been here. Um, I'm going to say that in chat. <laughs> Thank you to all of you. Um, I will timestamp here in just a moment. I hope to see many, if not all of you, come to Utah. We do have some spots available. Just reach out. Go to angelinsight.net. For any questions, for any of my current offerings, I am going to be adding um, a new class. So if you're ready, check out the rosary. That's something I'm going to be starting when I come back. Thank you for being here. That's what I'm typing. I will see you all very soon.